has a name. It's a Voxcaster. So the Acolytes stand within a strange cave, or what is the mouth of a horrible skull, which is the mountain. Inside, they were accosted by feral tribesmen, but the Acolytes endured. The last day had seen the Acolytes diverted from their destination of Port Wander, sent as a favor to the Storm Wardens, a local space marine chapter whose fortress monastery was located on the moon of High Castle. But the Acolyte's task took them to a planet of Sacrus instead, where a lone space marine told them of their task. Bring a neophyte marine back home, who had been missing for a week after returning to his home in the middle of a dangerous swamp. The Acolytes had braved that swamp, only to find the village knowing little of what happened to the marine, Galen. And so, with little leads, they followed a young rattling girl, and yet again fate twisted as the girl disappeared, and in the cave they found only trouble. Through what appears to be a vox caster, the acolytes were given an ultimatum from an unknown entity. Bring my child to me, it said, perhaps talking about the pregnant healer in the village, perhaps something more. With the rattling girl missing, it was hard to say for certain. And now, far away from any hint of civilization, the Acolytes consider their next move. So feel free to roleplay amongst yourselves. This is uh, quite a moral pickle. I mean, I I'm a fan of uh, bringing back the Sneakum girl, but not super into doing the demands of a Spookum. We call, we call demons Spookums where I come from. I say that we just uh, bomb the whole village, make sure everyone is dead, and then uh, blow up this mountain to smithereens. That's the worst idea I've ever heard. That's what we would have done in the Imperial Guard. Well, no one cares. And Icazarius just looks at, at uh, Lapita and shakes his head. Obviously... You uh, are not ready to join the Imperium, it, it appears. I am so ready to join the Imperium. Like, maybe you're the guy who's not fitting in. Ever thought about that? Hmm? Let's step out of here and consider what we're going to have to do next. Yeah. Some damn light. Keep my gun drawn and head towards the the exit where we came in. I follow. I can serious uh kind of keeps near uh, uh uh Vanso because he seems to be the only one who's speaking any sense. And as you're walking towards the exit, um, the stairway that you had come in on, you hear a voice in the cave call out. And Zypher, I'll let you go ahead and introduce yourself. Oi, are you there? You seem to be searching for something. Are you trying to pal something for to me? Seem to be searching for a rattling girl, eh? Who's talking? Real slow. We've been having some bad luck with these folks on this planet. No bad luck from me. And there seems to be four of you and one of me. Bad odds never stopped a man from trying before. A foolish man, maybe. In the name of the Inquisition, please state who you are and what you are doing in this area. The name Yo, tell Newland. us your name and shit. The name's Newlin. You can call me Newt. Can I call you Newly? He kind of gives you a quizzical look. He says, Newt. Else don't call me at all. 
You seem to be in the cave searching for something. Looking for a couple of things, I imagine. That little girl, I presume. That's one of my priorities, though I can't speak for my associates here. Yeah, Tweedledum and Tweedledip should want to blow up the whole place. Uh, how do you know about all this crap? You some sort of spy person? Spying on us? It's not very difficult to spy on you. You guys are pretty loud in here. Arguing and whatnot. But let's be assured, I'm here to help you. It's the... How are you gonna help us? Because you're gonna help me. You see, I think what you're looking for and what I'm looking for is the same. We're looking for a tribe. They call themselves... Uh, can you repeat that name, Ted? Horn Goat. The Horn Goat tribe. They have the girl. They might know what you're looking for. Uh, guys, uh, quick huddle. Everyone, everyone. Uh, she's just gonna whisper to everyone. Yo, this newly guy seems shady as shit. We ain't got many other leads unless you feel like kidnapping a babe. Not really. A babe that's not born, Eddie. Yeah, it's weird. Just popping up out of nowhere. Maybe you can lead us to this urban goat and we can blow the place up. That might solve the problem. I ain't interested in your plan of nuking yeah. the whole mountain, to be quite honest. What is your obsession with mass death? You got some problems, dude. You tell me that and you want to be in the Inquisition. I think you are in the wrong place. You're in the wrong place. <sighs> Alright then, Newt. You gonna how how are we gonna help you with this tribe? That tribe it killed my tribe. And uh vengeance will be mine. If they have what you seek. And that strange man with that strange voice gets his way and kills them all. Oh, you mean the spookum? Then I think y'all are in agreement, eh? For now. But no, you got four sets of eyes on you. I'm trying nothing funny. I think you want to we'll keep your eyes. Good, Chris. Hi. Good, Chris. Sorry. It just says. Or not think twice about caving in your skull. As I said before, it's not my skull or me you need to worry about. And you don't need your, all your eyes on me. Keep your eyes all about this place. You're gonna need all of them if you're to survive. Well... We don't then, Newt. I gotta say, I kinda got a good feeling about this guy. <laughs> and at this point, Icazarius just looks at. Sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Icazarius just kind of uh, looks over at uh, Vance and he's like, I have a better feeling about this new one than that damn Lapita. I have the same feeling. Are you saying this with any other shot? <laughs> it doesn't really care. 
Yeah. Yeah, fuck you guys. <laughs> so as you're arguing, Newland begins to direct you uh, to something you missed uh, in the room just due to darkness um, and unfamiliarity. There is a small uh, ladder that goes down um, near where you came in um, on the inside of the cave on this small ledge. And he basically uh, climbs down the ladder. You climb for several moments and you come into an equally dark room and Moomin goes about turning on some light uh, from a small panel and it lights up the room and this is what you see in the other room So you're in a massive underground tunnel with a inert gothic looking train. Um, what the fuck is that? Yeah, you've, see, you've seen you've seen you've seen similar. Th- or some of you might have seen similar things on. Uh, some planets, but nothing exactly like this. It's the iron fire snake. It goes many a distance. Why is it leaking oil? That is its blood. Reminds me of steaming back home. That's creepy as hell. It's just a pain. A what? It's an older model than what I'm used to in my world, but I live in a more modeled world than this, obviously. Newt is kind of taken back by the, the words of Vanso and Icarius. I, how do I pronounce it? Icarius. Icarius. He's not used to the words you guys speak of. So, I thought this place was all just... Uh, cavemen and rock sort of deal. What are they doing with a big old uh, train? This place is older than you think. Your knowledge is limited. Okay. Lots of places went backwards and forwards in time as far as technology goes. Once this place might have been decently teched out, they might have reverted. Something awful might have happened. Huh. I could, I could just look like, sad. It's like, my guess is it's from the first expansion of mankind, but that's just a rough guess. Of what? Did you say my mankind? God, you are really mind? thick. It, it used to... The first expansion of mankind. Man, okay. Look, it, it sounded like you said something totally different. That's not on me. Enunciate, dude. <laughs> and he he slowly reaches for his his uh, shock baton, but decides not to at the last second. Well, Newt, do you fancy yourself a conductor of this machine? And Newt has used this before, so he knows how to... Okay. Um, uh, Yes. I have driven the Iron Fire Snake. I can take you. Oh, sweet. Well, go up. Get at it, Newly. Let's try this, baby. Did she say something? She says, uh, go ahead and start her up and let's take this puppy for a ride. That might not have been clear neither, but I gave it a shot. Follow me. 
I should take you where you need to go. So you make your way aboard this train, and um, it uh, the inside is extremely dusty in almost every area. Um, the the conductor spot in the front of the train is uh, less dusty, uh, just due to um, Newland using it uh, fairly recently. And uh, basically it's pointed out uh, one area. You see the tracks and uh, everything looks in order. And uh, basically um, there is a spot in the back of the train where someone needs to shovel in some ore of some sort uh, and combust the engine to get it started. I can serious, we'll do that. All right, so Icazarius is in back and he begins to shovel in this ore. Now he need, you can just you need a, basically a fire to start the start the coal, right? Okay. Do I need to roll anything? No, nah, you just shoot it or whatever you want to do. Something just to spark a fire. A low stick? Yeah, a low stick would work. Beast of a low stick. So you throw the uh, the low stick into the fire, and it starts pumping out the smoke as the ore begins to burn. And Newland in front pulls these levers, pushes all these buttons. And suddenly the suddenly the train begins to slowly build up speed. In about ten minutes or so, the train is moving at oh, probably sixty miles per hour, and you pass various. Uh, hieroglyphics on the walls and other images that pass your eyes before you can really make them out. Some appear to be disturbing, some appear to be mundane, some appear to be simple writings and signs. But overall, uh, what you pass, the imagery, um, seems ancient and in um, scope and there's really not much you can uh, discern. So you guys are a little wild. Um, eventually, hours later, Nolan begins to back down the train and uh, makes a turn around a, a corner basically that uh, the tracks turn and um, slowly you come to a stop and then outside there's a large platform um, that has you notice that it's extremely humid here and each of you are sweating from the train ride anyway it's particularly Icazarius being shoveling the coal the entire way and on the outside there's moss growing um in various places where it was made of stone and you hear the bubbling of some liquid uh nearby but don't see it there's a faint glow uh next to the platform and stairs going up and stairs going down Um, can Newlin make a check uh, uh, in the surroundings to see if uh, at this level we are alone? Sure, go ahead and make a, let's see, let's do <clears throat> perception check if you have awareness, train, do I that. Have, 
Yep. Awareness. So uh, just uh, you can do a macro, or you can just uh, roll it off your sheet. Any skill? I see. Uh, I'll show it one minute. Awareness. Yeah, you you um. So you're trained, so there's no negative, but you still fail. Um, you're unaware of anything. You don't see anything. Um, here. The train was super loud coming in, but um, you've never um, been this far on the train track before. Um, this should put you near where the horn goat has influence. Um, as far as your knowledge goes, you're, you don't believe the horn goat knows this place exists, or they would have used it. Okay. I see. Uh, we have arrived. This is where we all get off. But that was creepy as hell. Keep in mind, we are now in the Horn Goats territory. Right. They catch us here. We better put every last one of them down. Oh, I'm sure they'll make Vanso very happy. <laughs> It'd be like his Christmas. Or setting equivalent holiday shit. I do not do it because it makes me happy. I do it because it is effective. Then why do I hear joy in your voice every time you mention it? Like, come on, dude. If you're going to be a sadist, just admit it. Why does she speak like it? that? What does she say? I am confused. Anyway... Follow me. Jeez, he sounds like my grandpa. <laughs> Dangus just shakes his head and hops off the seat and starts following Newton. Or new one. I follow newly because that is how she's going to refer to him forever. And by forever, I mean however long she continues to live. <laughs> <laughs> you, um... You climb these uh, stairs, and uh, as Newland pushes these large metal double doors open, it takes uh, quite some work to get them open. They haven't been opened in, oh, who knows how long. They're almost rusted together, and it takes several of you to push them free. As you do, the daylight assaults your eyes. Um... And you can't see anything. Hold on. Man, daylight is real bright. It's so bright it's dark. My eyes. This has uh, dynamic lighting on it. It shouldn't turn on. I feel like they got Vance's helmet on right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have control over Vance. Yeah, Vance is just. Vance's token is kind of a slut right now. I'm just giving you a heads up. It's what? I can... It's kind of a slut. I can grab it and touch it and throw it all over the place. Mm. Oh, yeah. Are you joking? Van says oh, for some reason. I don't know. Oh, my. You're right. That's a bit spooky. Hmm. There we go. They, they look a bit like dwarves. Yes. Uh, suspend the disbelief for the statues, what they look like. <sighs> So um, you're walking up, uh, and um, there's only one really way to go from here. There's a path that's um, slightly uh, beaten down, um, at the very least. And Newland knows this is the general area and that he, there is a bridge that he must cross to uh, get into their territory. As you approach, you see these two large statues of um, essentially half-men, Half goat with a goat head and a man's body. Um, yeah, so I think beastmen um, generally. Um, there's a bridge. Uh, it is actually a. Um, it is a wooden bridge. Um, so it. Uh, it seems kind of rickety from a distance. Um, you hear bubbling. And as you get closer to this river, uh, you notice that that's not water in there. It's uh, 
it is probably acid. An acid river. And Lycazarius has out his uh, LAS pistol. I have my sniper rifle out. Revolver. But I'm, I don't have man stopper in. I've only got six rounds left, so we won't count pen when I roll it. Hey, Newly, you got a weapon? Newly looks at all of you and pulls out his sword. Cool. What are you guys gonna do? Well, doesn't look like there's much else to do. I'm gonna walk forward, but I'm gonna use a perception roll and see if I can see anything going on around here. Um, no, that you don't see anything. You can roll though. Oh shit! I guess that would be. There's awareness. awareness yeah. mm -hmm. Never trust anything. That's from Lord of the Rings. Um, yeah, so you look around and um, you're not trained, right? So, uh, Or are I you? Trained. You are trained. So uh, you, you don't see any body around, um, but you could have sworn one of the eyes of the statues moved and kind of like was tracking you. A newt. Yes. What's the deal with these statues? I mean, newt's I never been it. this far before, so I'll let you um, roll like a general lore roll um, to see if you can know any other information about these things. Who newt? Mm-hmm. He was the only only person that would even have any. Kind of idea. I'll, uh... While he's thinking about it, I'm going to go ahead and confer with everybody else. I know it might sound a bit strange, but I point out the statue that was looking at me. I feel like that one was peeping at me as I was walking around. We can always try to shoot it and see if it reacts. Oh, holy shit. So... I actually like that idea. Let's shoot the statue and see what happens. Before you do that, uh, Newland, I'm gonna send you. Uh, I'm gonna send you some information. Okay. Um, so you guys can. Isn't that, that a crit? No, it's no. no. There's only degrees of success. So for some reason, I remember there's there's a D100 system where if you match your number your skill number that you Eclipse crit phase. on that. Huh? Eclipse phase. Oh. Uh, Well, he's looking at. I'm looking at my gun. I don't have many bullets. So who's gonna shoot it? I'll do it. I pull out uh, my sniper rifle, and I don't actually know how many bullets I have, so I'm just gonna assume I have infinite. That's seems reasonable. And I'm gonna shoot the statue. <laughs> right, its stupid statue head. Well, let's wait for. Uh... For the uh, savage man, he seems to know something about these statues. He looks... Yeah, yeah. so while you guys are discussing, Newt is like kind of hunched on... He's kind of crouched on his... You know, and he's looking at the statues with uh, great interest. And he's kind of swiveling his head as like a, say, um, some animal would when, when confronted with something they don't understand. All right, I sent you it on Discord, Zypher. <laughs> Be very. It is strange that these stone statues are in front of us. The horn goats have many magics. This may be tricking us. Okay. Mad magic sounds more like NFC. I told you we should just blow them up and be done with it. 
Wait, but it is shoot the damn statue. Yeah, I shoot the, sta the stupid statue right at the stupid statue face. Yeah, what you sh you shoot the statue, and it like ricochets off, and um, nothing happens. Oh. Huh. Well. Keep an eye on it. I think we should cross one at a time. You sure you saw it move? Usually when I hit living things, they go out at the very least. Uh, Newt's gonna move there, uh, right next to the statue. Okay. Who wants to go first on the bridge? Icazarius does. Icazarius. I guess I just stows his gun and pulls out his his shock maul, and he just is like, well, I guess I'll go since the uh, other one's a coward. But I can't hear you over the sound of all the safety. I'll take a second. I will take that. So, all right, halt right there. So as soon as Icazarius steps onto the bridge, um, it's very clear that the statue's eyes, both of them, flicker open, and the the like the stone around the mouth kind of crumbles off if, as these lips start moving, and they speak in some foreign tongue. got that desire, and just as just the stone starts to crack and fall away um, and you see beneath them um, what appears to be something that is living perhaps all right give me two seconds here uh, we're all gonna make fear checks as you might imagine is this a check where my jaded applies um what does jaded say specifically well if this is warp or demonic in nature it will not apply but if it is not then i can basically just ignore the fear check um i would say that you cannot ignore this fear check um uh, what does the fear check roll so it's willpower um willpower yep so there's my willpower so it's a fear one, so no modifier. Holy shit. Wow. So that's, that's a fail. Um, I hate the system so much. <laughs> Everybody else, just give me your... Uh, Vanso has a Sorry. plus five on his fear check, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Dang it. Where do you... Oh, you just use a regular... Okay. Yep. You just click on the willpower, correct? You can do that, yes. Get banged on. I have no fear. I do. No modifier. All right. So, um, two of you passed, right? Yeah. Uh, so everyone but everyone but Newt let me down. Uh. <laughs> All right. So now you're gonna roll on the shock table. Um, so go ahead and roll. Uh, everybody failed. Roll one d one hundred. And let's see. Let me. Yeah, I gotta look. The uh, pit is good. Yeah, seven on that. I think I already have some from the uh, from the guy and the guy in the mouth of the troll thing. Five on Vanso. Holy shit! I rolled. All right. All right. So seventy-two for Vanso. Seventy-two. You're frozen in terror. You can take no action until you recover. Um, so you're going to have to try to snap out of it every um, round, right? So you're just frozen in fear. Uh, okay. And then you take minus 10 penalty for everything else. Uh, okay. Icazarius. Holy crap. Um, That's bad. So it's two degrees of failure. Uh, you're 117. Uh, feigning That's dead away. Uh, so you fall unconscious for 1d5 rounds. Go ahead and roll 1d5. <laughs> Shit. So two rounds, so um, I'm going to put that marker on you real quick. Um, unless you can put a marker on yourself that just says two. 
Lepeta, so that's not bad, um, but you failed by a ton. So um, so you get a 72. Uh, Frozen in Terror, same as Vance, though. Um, so you're going to try to uh, basically pass your fear check um, every round on your initiative, um, and once you do, you will snap out of it. All right, so we're going to roll initiative. Please roll initiative, everyone. Okay. Do I use the sheet or the macro? Uh, use the macro on this one. It should add you automatically if it's working correctly. It appears to be. Look at the changes. I mean, someone's got to not die. It's looking like some people are fucked. You guys told me to make it harder, so. <laughs> True. That's uh, so why we got backup characters. Oh. Didn't get a chance to snap out before I die. Yeah, you guys can. They were all low, you guys can overcome. Yep, believe. so, uh, Jengus is up first. Um. They are okay. hulking, so you will get, uh, plus ten. So, first things first, I'm a little bit too close for comfort. So. I'm gonna do the whole desperado move and shoot thing. Okay. And you don't, and that, that allows you to not uh, take a penalty for moving and shooting, right? Well, normally you wouldn't even be able to move and shoot. Not oh, a okay. full move, anyway. You'd right. be, you could not a full move, but I can yeah. move and shoot. Okay. So. Of course, I quick drawed. Oh, I, I think I already had my gun out anyway. Yeah, mm hmm. Uh, we're not counting my pen because I'm not using man stoppers right now. I'm saving those. I've only got six left. You're saving them? I've only got six rounds of them left. I used six last session. I only get two mags full. According to the... Um, according to the... I think it's... I think that's raw. Or whatever. Uh, well... I guess I'll trust that Newt's a badass and I'm just going to shoot this one. I, I can't aim, so I'm just going to take your standard shot. Mm-hmm. Yes. You shoot, uh, you would get plus... Uh, they're hulking, so remember that. Um, so, you, plus you 10, plus 10. Yeah. Standard attack. So, standard attacks, plus 10. Yeah. Red dot sights, plus 10. Oh, okay. Plus 10. So, you got him. So, no pin. 12 damage. He does not try to uh, evade. Um, so let's see. Um, actually, he will try to evade since. Clip of 30? That doesn't seem right. I don't know. Um, okay, give me two seconds. Oh, here. wait a minute. It's the revolver of Lazarus. Huh. Did you shoot Lazarus? It doesn't matter, right? Yeah. I, mean, I don't think so. Mm -mm, it doesn't matter, but. Got two seconds here. So, which one is this one? Okay, so he will try to evade. Um, and... <laughs> and he, he is trained, so... Um, so you shoot, and the thing just, like... Um, they have these ginormous, like, great axes... And he swings this great axe and just like, just for roleplay purposes, like deflects the bullet. Adijajikada. What in Sam Hill? And Vanso, you can tr you're just staring at this thing. It's a willpower roll. Nope. No dice. Oh, it's going good. Lapita, same thing. Willpower roll. Um, it's Lapita, Lapita. Magic Sky Voice. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's actually pronounced Lapita, but that's okay. Um, well, too bad the guy who made the original character left. Um, 
So I roll willpower again, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Shit, where are you, willpower? On your sheet, it's gonna be... Oh, I was gonna use the macro. You can if you it's want. Skills. Wait, is it? I don't think you can hey. do that. It's skills, isn't it? Um, I don't know if you can... You might probably not. It doesn't matter. It's e it, because the skills don't work on the sheet. Is why I built that macro. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Hey. nope. Don't frozen still. Echazarius is automatically down still. <laughs> Newlin. Go get him, Newly. Uh, use that fucking sword. I'm gonna use my sword. See if this works. So you're gonna want to aim, right? I'm guessing. Uh, uh okay, yes. Yeah. If if so, yeah. aim, then yes. Yeah, so it's plus twenty to your uh to the TN. So you hit, um, and this one is going to try to evade as well. These are their evasions for the round. Nope. So you hit it for seven damage. Um. Right. Uh, it's a primitive sword, so yeah, it would have zero pin. Um, and a club. Uh, roll for 1d100. This is for... Yeah, 76. So that's, uh, that's some uh, left, left uh, leg, and, or right leg, and basically you hit it, and you do not get through its armor. Oh, jeez. Oh. All right. That's good. Um, so the statue uh, basically um, facing uh, Newland will go first, and he basically aims and swings his gigantic axe towards you. Okay. So plus 20 to the roll modifier. Yep, miss. Okay. Uh, so it, it's... Good. This... Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I just want to ask this. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I have the parry skill. Would that be... If you were hit. So if okay. he succeeds, you can use an evasion, and that's parry or dodge. Um, you can use it once per turn. So if once he would have hit, you could have parried. Now, there's no reason. there's no reason to parry because he missed, right? So... Okay, so I still have that even though I did an aim and an attack, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. It's a reaction. Okay, perfect. Um, the other horn goat uh, doesn't bother with the people that are on the ground for now. Or does he? Let's see. Um, let me see what his that standard move is. He is. is. Half move three, so he can go one, two, one, two, three... One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. So he moves three. And gotcha. as he's coming towards Jangus, but um, he's going to swing down at uh, Lapita with his axe. Yeah. Um, now I got to figure out what, what the prone. What the, just no reaction, I guess, probably. Yeah. I don't know if they get uh, it. Maybe one of them are prone. Well, they're they're stunned, right? Oh, I guess that just means he can't do anything. Uh, so he is going to attack her. Let's see here. Plus twenty. Need attack. 20. Uh, miss. So he s swings and misses Lupita. All right, guys. Jengus. Uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, just one minute, Ted. I have yeah. a question. Sure. Uh, it says I have a primitive nine. Yeah. So if you roll ten damage, it's gonna go to a nine. You can't fire uh, the nine damage on that. Yeah. So just to let you know, I have the old ways, which means that it gains the proven three quality. Any low tech weapon. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Awesome. Now, I don't know what Proven does, so if you want to look that up in the book real quick. We'll do. All right, let's see. Because this looks kind of fucked, so. Uh, 
I have that was a fucking terrible roll. Uh, so after seeing this thing just deflect a bullet, and yeah, it's not looking great. Jangus is gonna yell out to everybody. Well, he's <laughs> Agazarius can't hear him, but he doesn't know that. He's gonna yell out to everybody. Quick, get across the bridge. This is too tough for us now. And I'm gonna try to get around. So now. On my sheet, that number for movement is the amount of squares I can move, correct? Yes. Alright, so I'm gonna full out fucking run. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> and if I can, you can go diagonal. On the head, <laughs> if I run by, then I will. But I'm gonna <laughs> just fucking boogie, man. Dang, you can move. I have unnatural agility and agility five. All right, so you run across the bridge, yes. um, hoofing it over there, leaving everybody behind. All right, willpower, Vanso. Okay. <clears throat> now, don't don't forget your fate point uses if you want to. Now, what does that do? You can re-roll. No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh... Now, how, how does safe foot work? Do they ever come back, or is it, like, gone forever? Uh, no, you, you, um, I'm pretty sure, uh, they'll, they'll come back, yeah. You can reroll tests, you can gain, you can gain plus ten to a test, you can do that. Um, you can add one degree of success. Um, I use a fate to reroll. Okay. That's just, that's just great. Yeah, the beginning of each session, uh, all mm -hmm. all characters restore their fate threshold. Lapita, I gotta roll a will. See what happens. Like, I can't move or anything until I. No, you up. can't do anything. Yeah, they snap out of it. Gotcha. Or frozen. Statistically, there's been some high rolls. You're inevitably gonna hey. get one. Oh, oh my god! So I you are able to snap out of it as. This thing is swinging its axe towards you, and you can you can act um, all your actions in this encounter are at a minus ten. However, okay, cool. Uh, where does detail movement? So it should be on your character sheet on that uh, front left part there. Um, so oh, um, scroll down. Your, it's it's under your fate like points. That. I'm sorry, it's on the player sheet. So um, oh, it says oh, movement. God. So you can run eighteen. You would have to disengage, though. Yeah. God. Unless you want to risk getting smacked around. Yeah, he would swing at you. Disengage allows me to run at half, yeah, I assume. I think you I think you can move a fool. I'll check and see, though. Then what's see. the penalty for doing disengage versus normal? Uh, disengage is a full movement. Um, yeah. Or full action subtype movement. You can make a half make move. A half move. Mm -hmm. yep. So if you just run, he'll just swing at you. Right. Okay, I'm gonna disengage. And he'll get a bonus uh, to hit you if you sprint oh, away. You leave me for dead, man. Make him pound the fuck out of you. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna disengage. Okay, so um, you can disengage and move three. All right, move three. That's it. Mm -hmm, that's a half. Better watch out. Oh, just, oh, geez. Hmm. Or you could just run and hmm. let him How take far a swing. How the train? Uh, going the opposite direction. Uh, very far. Oh. 15 minutes. Oh. You know what? I'm just going to do something really stupid. Um... What sort of move would... Like... 
this thing's huge, right? Can I run in between its legs, potentially? Um, sure. I don't really know. What what benefit are you looking for by doing I that? want to drop a grenade between his legs while I run. Um, you can legs. you can half move and throw your grenade, essentially. But I don't want to throw my grenade, because that means I have to roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it would. Uh, yeah, I would let you, you do that. It, then it would it would blow up just about everybody in that area. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 so it's fine. It's that stupid. We had some good times. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you, both you and Inconsurious have tried to kill her several times. <laughs> For good reasons, let's not forget that. Okay, yeah. Well, you know what? Agree to disagree. I wanted to go out in a place of glory, and I'm not going to do it just getting hammered away by Goat Man. Uh, so throwing my grenade at this thing, like throwing it right at its head. Mm hmm. <laughs> what sort of roll would that be? That'd be. Uh, it's, um, ballistic skill. I get any bonuses. Uh, you really get big. you get plus ten for a standard. You get plus ten for hawking. You get minus ten for being you're stunned minus earlier. 10 because of your penalty. So right now you're at plus ten. If you aimed and didn't move, that's another plus ten. So sure. I'll aim and not move. So okay. that's plus twenty. Yeah, you'd be at plus twenty. And okay. just tell me which square you're aiming for, because there is a blast okay. radius, right? Aim away from me, please. Right here. Oh, come on, man. You can't... Well, it has to be one of the squares, so... Um... Well, his head is not on a square, unfortunately. Yeah, if, if you were on the head, it would be one of the back ones. Okay, back one, right here. Okay. You know what? Maybe right here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm Screw you, man. I'm not, I'm not. You should be fine, right? See. I'll throw, you know what? I'll throw it right here. What's the blast radius on this thing? Three. So one, two. Three yeah, in every three. direction, basically. Okay, I'll throw it right behind the, the goat man. It goes, do you know where that, um, that diagram is? Does it go diagonal too? The fuck is ballistics? Watches it lands right on top of Ike's areas. <laughs> Ghost, did you hear me? No, I keep having that fun internet of phone. Uh, I was asking, do you know where the um where the blast radius diagram is? I certainly do. Is that for frag grenades? Yep. I believe frags have a radius of. Uh, three. They have three, but are they are they um are they diagonal as well? It's it's all directions. Okay. Man. Three meters spread from its uh, episode, from its episode. Okay. So go ahead and uh, is there is there a deviation chart if you miss your ballistics roll? Oh yes, scatter die. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and go ahead and roll your ballistics. Okay, I couldn't uh, ballistics on on the macro though. Uh, the sheet, the sheet. For characteristics, it just it's on your sheet. Mm -hmm. Everything okay. else uh, is uh, macro. Very you little bastard, fucking ballistic bullshit. <laughs> Uh, is it under gear? I assume. No, it's it's under just just roll your ballistic skill. It's under Plus characteristics. Yep. Ah, okay. You get plus twenty. Watch me roll on one hundred. So you threw it right on where you're trying to throw it. Um, yep. so, uh, blast right radius here. from, from there oh, is where you threw it. One, yeah, two, right. three, would hit, or did, where did you throw it? Uh, here? One further, please. Right, yeah. a little bit further, okay. I have a little bit right there then. Alright, right. One, two, that would hit yourself, by the way. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then nobody at One, two, no. Nope. All right, we're gonna say it hits Vanso and Lapita. I did the best I could, man. <laughs> um, okay. Me, I tried to throw it away, so it didn't hit you. So you're gonna roll. Um, I believe uh, roll one d ten. I believe that's a frag grenade. 
with the K. Four. Um. So does four damage? Yeah. Hold on. I'm, I'm fine then. I have no idea how I am. He's kind of low for frag grenade. Yeah, Frags are 2d10. Roll uh, yeah, roll Oh my god, I have a chainsword. I didn't even know that. <laughs> what? I don't know if chainsword is going to be your best option. Yeah, I, I might as well just keep throwing frag grenades. <laughs> yeah, just, just fucking both answers. Go ahead and roll like another d10. Yeah. Okay. Six. So ten. So uh, ten. I take three damage. I take three damage. Uh, roll a hit location. Roll one d one hundred for both uh, Vanso and the uh, Horn Goat and yourself. So three three d one hundred. Thirty one for Vanso. Eighty for the goat. Thirty oh in the face. That's that. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna remove three wounds. Right? Is that it? Yep. Three of your current. What? Yeah, what is your tough? What is your bonus plus your? Uh, I have four armor and and three toughness, so I have seven. Yep. So it's ten minus yep. seven. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then um, the horn goat, uh, basically a blast behind him, and all these the shrapnel and stuff like kind of bounces off his stoneish kind of skin, doing no damage. Uh, Lapita. You uh, you got hit for ten in the face, and okay. that would be uh, you would take five wounds. Okay, now I have to figure out what the fuck. I'm it's right on. It's on the the front part there. It's okay. under armor and defense. Gotcha. So I have. All right. Gotcha. I Kazarius still down this round. Next anyway. round you wake up, though, buddy. <laughs> Just in time to get across this bridge and not die like everybody else. Zypher, you're up. Okay. Uh, I'm rolling for damage. Huh. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, so if I if I move in this fashion without disengaging, it will attack you. Oh, you can yeah, dis yeah, yeah. you can disengage and move your half action. Oh. If you try to run through that, that he's gonna attack the fuck out of you because he'll get one every time you try to move away. Probably. I see. It's it's no there's no thing about uh, like within within reach kind of thing, right? No. I would have it only attack you once, but. I see what you're saying. Um, shit. You gotta ask yourself, Cypher, do you feel lucky? <laughs> <laughs> and so if I disengage, I can only move half. Yes, okay. half move. Half move, okay. whatever half move is. For uh, you. Was it, full move is six, half move is three. Mm -hmm. um, and what happens if I uh, do a full run? I mean, he'll get a plus 20 bonus to hit you. Mm -hmm. And if he does hit, do I stop in my tracks or do I still get No. Him? no. Unless you, you get knocked in. Yeah, unless you get knocked unconscious. I see. Okay. And just uh, know wounds wounds replenish after the encounter unless you take critical. and Unless you take over your maximum, right? Okay. And uh, running will also allow me to... Will not allow me to parry or do any reaction. It's my complete movement, correct? No, you would still be able to evade. Okay, so then I'm going to run. Uh, five... Ten. I believe that's correct. You can still evade. I don't see. That's Good just a full. That's just a full action. And you just get the plus twenty to smash mm -hmm. the fuck out of you. Yeah. So I'm, I think I can move up to eighteen, which would be eighteen uh, feet or eighteen eighteen squares. Eighteen squares. Oh, eighteen squares. Oh yeah. Okay. You can hold ass. Yeah, so. I mean, you would be across the bridge, right? Yes, Easy. that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay. So uh, as you go, he swings at you. Um, mm -hmm. Right? So let's see. So he has a plus 20 to that attack. 
Miss. <laughs> so it swings Wait. over your head as you evade him. Um, this thing uh, moves and attacks a Kazarius who is down. He is literally prone, so what is that? Outrageous. What is that bonus? Easier to hit. I don't know if I, my armor will even help. It will. Armor always helps. Being prone, combat circumstances means... Uh oh Our character who is plus 10 bonus to weapon skill attacks gets plus 10 for okay. him being prone. So he's going to have a plus... 20. Or are you considering him helpless, in which case he would just absolutely demolish his areas? I'll just say prone. Okay. Hit. Um, oh shit, it hit me? No, yeah, he's attacking, he's right attacking Akazarius. Okay. Uh, different, da, 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 da. different goat man. Where, where? Outrageous. Uh, 14 damage, 2 pen. Uh, roll 1d. See where it hits. Uh, it hits 20. So 20 is your... That is your right arm. Um, what's your toughness and armor on your right arm? Um... Not sure. One second. This says light armor, AP5. So you have a total of... Hold on, hold on. Go back to the player sheet. I'm looking. Player sheet, player sheet. Um, armor and defense, right arm. So you don't have your armor in here, so... Uh, I'm tempted to just say you don't have any armor on. But I guess I'll be nice... You have eight armor everywhere. Um, so you have a total, or you have five armor. So you have a total of eight, so you take six damage. Okay. Um, this guy uh, attacks Lepida, obviously, because she just threw a frag grenade at him. Um, so let's see here. Got a little bullshit system work in my favor. <laughs> it did oh, not work no. in your favor. Um, oh, I seem to be lagging. I haven't actually seen anything. <laughs> oh, you didn't see anything? I, I, I can't yeah. see what just rolled. I can't. Huh, it rolled a 10. <laughs> oh, is that what that is? Oh, shit. Yeah, TN 10. Um, 10. So actually, uh, he had pen too, so Icazarius takes two more damage, by the way. Um, so uh, let's see where he hit you. Oh, so uh, Lepida can try to evade, so you can try to parry your dodge. You don't have a melee weapon up, on, up so you don't. You need to try to dodge if you want to evade. Okay, I will try and dodge. Okay. Uh... So roll, uh, D, let's see if you have dodge train, first of all. You do, so go ahead and roll your agility. Oh, do I roll my agility or do I roll my dodge? Uh, it's the same thing, because your, okay. your uh, dodge is trained at 1, so you're, it's basically you're rolling against a 36. Any pluses? No. Oh, not even the fact that's huge? Or anything. Mm -mm. 
Oh, sweet. Oh, but you did dodge. Look at me. So Matrix. You're drained? You, yeah, she's drained. Oh, baby. So she jumps out of the way. Jengus. Gonna put my gun away and quick draw my spear out. And come on, get across. Let's go. Quit wasting Why time. You, you can't do it? nothing. What's that? Oh my god. I can hear you, Ghost. Okay, good. Yeah, you're good. I thought my internet's doing thing again. Mm -mm. Yep, Vanso. Go ahead yeah, and roll me a willpower. I'm, I'm gonna... Yeah. Now you might have cut out. <laughs> yes. So you are able to act. So I'm going to disengage. Okay. Now, what's going to happen? Because if I want to do... Do I have to, like, what's the, am I going to still get hit by... No, it? if you disengage, I won't make you okay. be threatened again. Because you're, you're actually technically threatened by both of them right now. But now you would have to disengage again at next turn. Okay, no, but I'm good. I'm invincible because of my parry, so I'm, yeah. I'm all right. Cool. All right. Lepida. Right. Okay. Uh, are there rules for climbing living creatures? No. Oh, that's a You could climb a tree. I don't want to climb a tree. I want to shadow the Colossus this thing. Uh, I would let you roll like an athletics test minus 20 or something. Oh, shit. I don't have any athletics. Oh, damn. Well. <sighs> okay. You know what? You know what? Um, I assume there's a range thing, so it would probably be better to pull out my pistol to shoot this thing than to... I don't think there's a minimum range. I don't believe oh, so. Oh, so there's no reason I don't I can't use my sniper rifle. Yeah, you can you can shoot him dead on. Absolutely. Oh, or I could try and blow them both up. I swear if it hits me again, I'm gonna shoot you from the bridge. <laughs> you, you might kill both <laughs> of the fucking people on the bridge. Now, I Kazarius <laughs> definitely I could die. <laughs> Alright. You know what I'm gonna I'm gonna Save Akazarius, and I'm gonna shoot the stupid brown goat that's attacking him right in the head. Okay. Uh, oh, and roll. And you get you can roll your sniper rifle damage. off your off your macros. You use this for that. You get plus. And uh, now, if if you want to aim, you get plus ten. Yes, I want to aim. So aim oh. standard attack. That's plus twenty. It's hulking plus thirty. Cool. But you have a minus ten because you were. Earlier, so plus forty. No, plus twenty. Oh, plus twenty. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, this game. It's super thematic too, considering you just got done calling my character a coward. Mm. Hit again. Oh baby. Mm. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, for sniper rifle, it is I don't know. That's why, you guys, if you use your if you use your macros, then it'll auto populate both of those for me. Um, but Lepida's no, that's fine. Uh, Lepida's sniper rifle is one d10 plus four, so but... impact and penetration three. Yep. I'll roll a one d10. Throw the rifle macro. Yeah, you can do that that's yeah. So thirteen. Um, and three. And pin three. So roll. D100. Where did it hit him? 67. I believe that's body. That doesn't really matter. Um, so pin 3, that's... You do 5 damage. So you shoot it and it just like tears through this rock hard skin that it has and the thing screams out in agony. You do 5 damage. Trying All to right. find what combat stims do. Icazarius, you are laying on the ground. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find out what my uh, combat stim does. I got that for you. 
Give me a minute. A dose of stim ignores any negative effects to his characteristics from damage, crit damage, and fatigue, and cannot be stunned. So I don't know how much it would help you. Oh, that's. Well, I'm gonna sta uh, standing up going to cost me like my entire movement. I believe it's a half. Half. Uh, oh, shit. I can't disengage from it then. Nope. You can stand and attack though. Um. I will. Let me find where I have it. I think I'm just going to frenzy this turn because I think that takes an entire turn just to do that. <laughs> you guys are fucking crazy. If you frenzy, you can't <laughs> flee, you know? <laughs> Don't do it. God damn it. I'm trying to buy you guys time. I can't get away. I literally can't get away. I'll get killed if I try to run away. Well, I, I don't know if that's true. Like, look at Newland. He he ran away. Whatever. You guys do what you want to do. Plus, this thing's going to go after me because I shot it. He's got a 35 melee skill. He's not guaranteed to hit you. You're not running. You get a 66.7% uh, chance of not dying. Whereas if you stay there and <laughs> we do the whole evens odds and he hits you, you're fucking dead. So... Vance is going to well, be I, I I can't get out is the thing though this round no matter what I do. What's your movement? Um, my movement is half movement is three. So standing up was my entire half movement. No. You you, you get two half actions. You could mm -hmm. stand up and half move. Yep. One, two, three. These things cannot cross this bridge, and if they try, they're going to fall through. Unless they're fucking magical more than they already are, and they can float, in which case we're fucked anyway. So. Alright, so he's going to take a swing at you. Um, that's a... I thought, I thought I'd just need to move out of its range. Huh? Nope. No, no, you, you didn't disengage. I'm saying you had, to, you, you had a 66% chance to not die. Oh, okay. Wow. Well. Well, Swing that beautiful bean footage so I can die. So he's going to have a plus 10, plus 10, so um, plus 20. Hmm? Or plus 10, just plus 20, 10, sorry. I think, right? Um, On a reaction? Does that count as a standard attack? I guess it does, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yep, there you go. Right. So, the odds weren't as good as I said they were. Hit you for... And, uh, and yeah. So, uh, what's your um? No, no, no. Hold on. What you yeah, have? Too. Yeah. No, it didn't get through. Right. You eat that shit. What are you talking about? It, it didn't get through. So it hits okay. you, but it just kind of like jars you, but doesn't get through your armor. Newland, what are you gonna do back there? Have some faith, man. Uh, there's not much Newt can do at this point. He's just gonna. Oh, watch. You could switch. You could switch uh, your weapons and shoot if you wanted. But, but... Uh, per my character sheet, it looks like there's a revolver, but there is no like uh, ammo or range. Oh, you you just know. have it's. Uh, you would use a use a macro. It, it's just it's. Um, you have ammo for your stub revolver. Oh, okay. Just normal I thought, armor. I thought my character being in the feral world didn't have it. Okay. Yeah, you have you have simple simple guns. Okay, cool. So uh, Newt's gonna uh, quickly sheath his sword and pull out his revolver. Uh, he doesn't like it as much as his sword, but he's gonna shoot at the uh, horn goat that is currently closest to Manso. Okay, plus plus ten to your shot for hawking and standard attack. Miss. Ugh. So you shoot uh, because Vanso is underneath this thing. You shoot high. All right. So uh, the one is going to swing at Vanso. Um, he's going to aim. Plus ten. He is uh, standard attack. Plus ten. Okay. So here we go.
hit. Outrageous. Now, you you can parry or dodge. That is a big hit. Hmm? Who is it attacking? You. Okay. His, I actually have, like, points invested in the parry skill. Mm -hmm. What does that do compared to just regular So, it, how many do you have? How many clicks do you I have? Only, I only have the one. So that means you, when you roll weapon skill, you won't take a negative to okay. your roll. So you're just rolling your base weapon skill. Well, now... I have, ba I have balanced, so I get plus 10. Okay, so you have balance. So just so you know, if if he hits, he hits you for 16 damage with a pen of 2. So if you wanted to use a fate point to increase your roll by plus 10, you can. I will. Okay. So balance plus 10 uh, and fate point plus 10, so... Perry plus 20. Yep. So you can just roll your weapon skill off your sheet with a 20 on there. Yep, you got it. So basically, he swings down, and it is like an awful swing. And Vance, at the last minute, kind of sidesteps and kind of knocks the the haft of the axe kind of out of the way, and it travels down and into the into the boards of the bridge, and just like splinters what he hits. All right, the other one attacks uh, Lapita. Um, aim and standard attack, so plus 20 to what it's going to roll here. <clears throat> Only got one fate left. Oh my god! It. Um, okay. Now, Try. you are. I think you already tried to dodge. The, no, you didn't. So, um, you can dodge. Yeah, you're right. All right. That is a acrobatics, yeah? Agility. Mm -hmm. Right, agility. I knew that. I was testing you. You passed for now. Good. I don't know this system very well, so... Neither do I. Shit, where's my agility? Roll low. There's the answer to any question. Mm-hmm. What the hell's agility? I guess uh, it's on my character sheet. It's on player sheet. So the first, the first tab. I could kind of get into the macro. Where are you? Agility? The macro, ah, it won't be on the macro. I don't have any pluses to this. Do I? And then, you, unless you went just do the dodge. I'll the macros. Mm-hmm. You do dodge. Uh, so that is I'm a. I'm gonna use my fortune thingy to re-roll that. Okay. Go ahead. No. Even worse. I hate the system. So, um, let me see where he hits you. Oh, Actually, eleven pen two. Oof. I think that's gonna kill me. That's, right. that's in the leg, um, right leg. So that's gonna be uh, pen two. You have five, so three. So that's. Let's see. Let me make sure I'm right here. Eleven. So that's basically. Yeah, that puts you at negative one. So that's going to be a critical rule mm -hmm. versus a critical effect. Yes. Could I? What's the critical effect mean? Yeah, I got it. It's um, yeah, it's bad. I got to find it in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How 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 are you going to get? Critical damage. Critical effect leg. All right, so leg. Yep. Go ahead and roll. Um, or actually, you don't roll. You just take this. So. It's um, impact, right? It's so raining. one level of fatigue. So you're going to take a negative 10 um, to all your rolls. I believe that's what one level of fatigue does. Okay. So that's not too bad. Jengus, you are up. So Lepeta, Lepeta is now at negative 20 total. I'm just, I'm just yelling at people to get across. Nothing's changed. I'm not going back over there. I'm not going to shoot. I'm just waiting. I'm holding my action to cut this bridge down. Okay, Vance up. Disengage. Okay, disengage. Move three. Oh. Repeat it. I'd like to pull out a grenade. Okay. Oh, fuck. And un and unlatch it or whatever the fuck you do with you're doing between them. That's it. I'm just pulling out a grenade and I'm hooking it. What the fuck do you do with a grenade? Doing the pen. Pulling the pen. Pulling the yes. pen. Mm -hmm. Yes, I pull the pen, and that's it. 
It's a red. <laughs> um, so you're not. Uh, you're just committing suicide. Is that what I'm yes. seeing here? Right. I'm gonna come across these motherfuckers. Go ahead and roll. Um, so yeah, I'd hit them both. Roll two uh, d two d ten. Does, does a frag have pin? It doesn't. Okay, that's what I thought. So basically, um, yeah, uh, so you do that, and uh, let's see where I don't know if that matters, but. Oh, that's base. Uh, um, oh. No, that's your arm. So basically, that would be four more critical damage to you. Um, explosive effects arm. Uh, the wig is the, oh, it's the arm. Arm. Yeah, so it'd be, it'd be a total of um, it'd be four. So Rift Sinu arm, that's right. So basically, you blow your arm off. Um, you pull the pin, and the arm that you're stand there it just like explodes and from the elbow down your arm is just like hanging there and the frag uh the pieces of uh, fragmentation just kind of bounce off the horn goats oh shit Dang. Fuck, the, fuck this system <laughs> i cuz yeah you're st you're st you're, st you're stunned but it's dumb I think we'll have oh, little arms. This kind of supposed to be here. That was kind of supposed to be like a climactic. I blow up everything <laughs> and maybe hurt them. Yeah, deal, it's not. It, it, it don't work that way here. <laughs> I uh, cause I cause there's what you do. a full action. To, I moved my uh, half action to move there, mm -hmm. or move speed three. And does it require a full action to change out weapons? Half action. Uh, so it'd be another half action to just pull out my last pistol. Mm -hmm. uh, Newland? I'm going to shoot my uh, revolver at the same horn goat again. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Miss. Miss badly. Uh, the horn goat um, basically looks at you guys uh, across the bridge and looks as though it wants to follow but then turns around. And comes back over here. And, um, as it's swinging for, uh, Lapita, she, uh, well, uh, let me just do this. That's gonna get like a plus 40. Mm -hmm. so. I hit anyway. So You're that's gonna, to... oh my god. Um, jeez, yeah. 12. Yeah, that's uh, so basically it comes down with its axe over top of you and basically comes down on top of Lipita's skull and it just splits her um, from the skull to the groin in half. Um, and she dies without a word. And I'll need everybody to roll. Um, let's go ahead and roll. Um, man. I guess it doesn't matter the fear part, but um, yeah. it could. <laughs> um, yeah, go ahead and roll fear again. And go ahead and roll fear again. Don't have to for this one. So that's a little fun, okay? Yep. I'm the only one still on the bridge. Success. I can't believe I couldn't like kamikaze myself. This success. Is just <laughs> and of course failure. <laughs> So you're stunned. You're just on the bridge, I'm just on like. The bridge and fucking dragging me off. You're on the bridge, uh, Jengus. <laughs> what do you what, what do you do? I want to see Vansos have another panic attack. I'm going to grab him and just pull him. Okay. On the side of the bridge. Yeah, because I was going to go chop down the bridge. Is <laughs> if I if Vance I have, on it. If, if I if I can, I'm just gonna I'm gonna stand there and you know see if the kid's dead and uh, whatever you know life life shit, but. Look at Newton. Is there another way back around, or is this the only path? Oh, this is new to me. 
But uh, before we proceed, do tell me this. Have you all come here to die like that person? And they're they're on the other side of the bridge, just like and like like swinging their axes in the air. And... We have come here to end the world of RFC by any military. Honestly, yeah. I had to blow up the old fucking place, but some people have stuck there. And you, as you guys are talking, uh, one of them jumps into the acid and it boils around their legs. Shit. And I'm gone. See ya. Well, someone... Wait, I'm so stunned. <laughs> we can say they smacked you out of it. Abandoned him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. As soon as I see that was my ace in the hole, as soon as I saw that, no. <laughs> Yeah, and so you easily and, outdistance you know, them, just... right? Sorry. Uh, uh, just as like as Arius is, you know, getting ready to run, he looks at Lapita with stoically and just says, "Only in death does your service end," and then runs off. <laughs> wow. Even when I die, you're a, this guy's a tool. <laughs> <laughs> so um chris go ahead and uh bump your wounds back up to total and uh, to uh full and let's take a five minute uh bio break oh boy god damn nasty all right. I saw what was coming. Fuck you guys. The Say whatever can, you want about Jengis, but <laughs> uh -uh. The, second, the second I can, I am bumping my willpower up as much as I can. Holy shit! I wish I could have ridden one. That would have been sweet. Or you know, actually die when I fucking tried to kamikaze them. You gotta roll higher. You gotta pump those numbers that, up. That's so stupid. Them. That's I think suicide so hard in this world. You could uh, try to shoot yourself in the head, but miss. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, is, that is beyond dumb. <laughs> you put a shot yeah, on no, I have oh, shit, misfire. <laughs> you put the gun in your mouth that's, and you in. <laughs> See, that's the problem with this D100 system. It's so fucking just ridiculous on, on your rolls. It's like, oh, you know, I put a gun in my mouth with, you know, no jamming and then still miss to somehow it, it blows out the other side of the gun. This will have a short circuit in it. This, this game has. I, I do not like the 100 systems. I mean, I love Warhammer, but goddamn. Yeah. Oh, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. It's all you know, luck, really. Nice, yeah. baby. I'll be back. P.S. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, well, even D20 is more preferable to a D100 system in my mind. She died as she lived, being a badass. You're getting Take split it on. in half by a bigger man. Look, I took on two freaking horned ogres while you guys ran away, so... That's how I'm I mean, writing it the down. I'm conscious or two of it. Whatever. Sleeping on the job. What would, what would your god emperor say, or AKA your husband? What well, leave death as your service? What a jerk! That's such a Dick line to say. <laughs> Actually, if your uh, skull was split in half, we could have made you a servitor and make you have uh, make you serve even after death. Okay. I didn't realize you had such an attachment to my character. Manpower is manpower. If you do that, I'm gonna have Tatnik make sure that um, she keeps her. Oh, no, she isn't. Her skull is split in half. Oh her... no, I know, but I'm gonna get. I'm going to talk to Tatnik and make sure that 
every now and then she gives something a really stupid nickname. I don't I don't care what Warhammer 40k lore says. I'm going to make sure Technic does that. And you're all going to have to deal with it. I'm looking back. I think I'm gonna pop off. Yeah, bedtime at all. Uh, it's nice playing with you, Grant. You. Mm hmm. Back you there. Oh, I guess he's not here. Oh, wait. I need to pick up Perry's skill. It's so powerful. That's just useful in general. I mean, if I, uh, if I boost it up, like, by one more, that gives me plus 10. So then I would have, I'd have to, I have to roll uh, under 60. Just for a standard Perry. So how does Perry work? It's your weapon skill. Weapon skill. So basically, dodge is agility, uh, and parry is weapon skill. So basically, if you have a low agility but a high weapon skill, invest in parry. So you can basically dodge in oh, a way. Cool. Oh, awesome. I built my guy well then. I I'm back. Maybe I should just invest in dodge then instead because my agility is 38. Is it higher than your uh, weapon skill? My weapon skill by, by a lot. My weapon yeah, skills Alright guys, I'm back. Everybody here? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm here. Grant left. Yeah, Grant left. We're leaving. Good. Alright, alright. Alright, cool. Um, alright, so... Um... Newland takes you, um, away from... The bridge, and you guys basically are booking it, right? And uh, basically, uh, Newland finds signs of civilization, and um, eventually you come to. Oh, this so, uh, in the distance, uh, you see a what appears to be a village. Um, not unlike the uh, village that you had left um, what you do see from a distance is you see various people milling about um, you see um, you get a pretty good vantage point you see a fin troll in a pen um, you see um, a couple guys walking around uh, it looks strange see one dude in a skull um, and then of course hanging from one of these platforms you see a small rattling child uh, hanging from ropes uh, around her uh, wrists and she's just dangling there uh, seems fairly lifeless And you are overlooking it from uh, two or two hundred, a hundred yards away, something like that. Is everybody here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think say that we contact the ship and tell them to blow the old place up. Wait, wait. Is that the little one you're looking for? Is it Ghost back? 
He's saying something. I can see his thing light up, but not catching anything. Say something, Ghost. We can't hear you. No, he's saying something. We can't hear it. D disconnect and uh, jump out of the voice channel and come back in, Ghost. Oh, this looks fucking good. Oh, you just okay. So I thought you, they said you're back. I'm describing <laughs> it. So, so basically, you guys are about a hundred yards away, and you're on this uh, small rise looking down into this village, not unlike the other village that you had just left. Um, what you see uh, is generally what's on the screen, um, with the exception of you see uh, this um, definitely this troll fin in a in a cage. Um, it's just kind of like hunkered down in the corner, not doing much. Um, you see various uh, tribesmen walking about. Um, one with this uh, skull mask of some sort over his face. And then um, hanging from one of these platforms is who you recognize as Pesha, uh, hanging from her bound wrists. She looks lifeless, as far as you can tell. Unconscious or dead. Nothing obvious, though. Uh, aren't these two from the other village? Yeah, they're just generic tokens to oh, okay. to um, signify tribes people. Okay. Is that the little one you're looking for? Icazarius nods. Well, this is the goat head tribe, tribe all right. You said something about destroying this village? Yes, I was the one who uh, suggested we just blow the whole place up. It usually works when you're uh, in the guard. No, we cannot blow the place up. We are holding someone else along with the girl. What is that noise you cut out? Yeah. Who are they holding? Some man. I don't know who it is. Is he very loud? Loud. I didn't hear him, but he seemed yeah. very important. Large, large, big. Yes, very large man. Larger than me. And I guess, yes. This may be the marine that we have been looking for. Uh, what does Jengus yeah. think about this? I missed I missed a little bit, but I do see what's before me here. And I'm I'm looking tactical right now. I'm trying to take my mind off of you know one of the few decent people that was in our group being dead now. As far as who uh, really in my eyes, exactly. So Jengus is sort of letting them bicker back there. I'm just trying to praise this whole thing tactically. Um, I mean, Extremely my, my soft ground. Yeah. His priorities are one, the kid, mm -hmm. to deal with Galen, because obviously Galen's got some fucking problems. Yeah. Did you hear what just Zypher just said? He said that he thought they were holding somebody there. Holding him. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what he's speaking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got it's it's a rescue mission now, but this is obviously beyond us as far as numbers go. So I'm trying to figure out a way to incorporate this troll in a little bit of a distraction attempt here. And yeah, it's it's it's, it's nighttime too, basically. Uh, most most of what you see is from firelight in their camp. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I haven't said anything. I'm just looking yeah. at everything. Yeah, and Pe Pesha is hanging from one of those platforms. I don't know if you caught that when I was mentioning that. She's hanging uh, lifelessly. Um, you don't know if she's dead. There's nothing obvious that would say that she's dead, but she's hanging now, from her wrists. What What does the command still do? Is that like actual tactical command, or is that just commanding people? Uh, that's a good question. 
There's a lower. Because it's weapon skill. So. It's it's command. Um, command is just commanding people. There's a oh, lower okay. skill. that's like adept. It's like adeptus tacticus or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. It's something oh, to do okay. with tactics. Adeptus Militarum or something like that is actual tactic, tactical appraisal, but it's also tactical appraisal from an Imperial Guard esque kind of view, not necessarily Bush War shit. So I don't know how you would, how you would. If, I mean, if you would roll it, I could give you some pointers if you passed. I would be okay I don't with have that. Shit. <laughs> Do you have? Yeah, if you have it. If, if it's untrained, then it's trained. Uh, okay. But I... I can't, I can't cook my tokens, so I'd have to roll for my sheet. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, there's no token on it. Just roll for, uh, just roll 1d100. That's fine. So, so that's... I, I have, uh, 39... Yeah, so you would, so three degrees, or two degrees, actually. So, degrees. so, well, it's clear that, that going in and attacking is a bad idea. Uh, there are too many of them, uh, and uh, mo you see one walking around with a flamer for sure. Uh, you see one with uh, some giant sword, and the rest are, you know, uh, decked out in primitive swords and whatnot. Um, what are the, oh, okay. Go ahead. No, go ahead. What are the houses made of? The houses are made of, uh, you know, uh, moss and wood and that sort of thing. They're, they're these would, platforms. Would my character know if it's burnable? Like if we could set fire uh, you would it, assume you know wood is burnable. I mean, if we could set... Uh, okay, I'm sorry, in character. I have noticed that uh, the houses are made of wood. Uh, maybe we can set a, set a blaze their homes as a distraction and get the, uh, the space marine out of there. Could also see about getting that troll out of its cage to rampage around while we head through. But then we might have to deal with it later. Hell, they look like they can handle it just fine. It just might buy us some time. We could do both. Yeah, I think doing both would be a good idea. All right. Hold on. I do not know where this big man is. All I know that he's in there because that little girl is in there. Can I, uh, using my mag uh, magnoculars, can I see anything else that I can see normally? It's pretty dark. Um, okay. th there's no signs of where he might be. Um, there's kind of, it seems like a central building, like it's bigger than the others, but whatever that means. And that's, that's the one Pesh is hanging from, but uh, it, it's hard to say. I have a grapnel on the line, so I might be able to shimmy up our way. Mm -hmm. There are no easy hey, access points. Yes. Any of these folks down here, you think, be able to tell you're not part of their little tribe? All of them. They killed my whole tribe. I see you are, all of you, smart. Hence, I follow you if I was alone. I would go in there and try to kill all of them. Not smart. You think you might be able to pretend you could be one of them? It is dishonorable for me to try. Is it dishonorable to... Is it as dishonorable as if you failed to get the big man out? He must understand. I do not know who the man is. You are all a means to destroying these people in any way I can. If you say I must dress like them, then I shall. But know this, that it is extremely dishonorable for me to try. I hope this man that you are rescuing is precious. He certainly is. And I greatly appreciate you making this sacrifice for us to figure this thing out. It's a tough thing to throw away on her.
Um, so what is it that I can do? Uh, I mean, you generally are dressed as them. I mean, walking through the darkness, I would give you a bonus to your deception roll. Um, but your deceive is untrained. Um, so normally, I, I would basically let you roll at fellowship. Um, or if you wanted, now that that is if you're speaking to people. Uh, if you're using uh, stealth, um, I would let you just roll basically agility. Um, it's strange that there's no uh, stealth skill. Uh, oh, there is. So, so you're untrained in that too. So basically, basically I would let you, um, depending on what you're doing, uh, due to darkness, I would let you roll either at um, a train or a, a uh, no, not train, but um, whatever is when you just have one click. Um, so basically, you would take no penalty. But you would get no bonus, so it depends on what you're doing. But mm. Sorry. no, go ahead. Uh, Icazarius speaks up. He's like, "I think we should try and lure one of them out. I can interrogate him, get to find out where the big one, as the Pharaoh Worlder likes to put him, is, and perhaps narrow down our search a little. I'm trained on such things." So our options are set free the troll, start a fire, let Nulin hopefully sneak in undetected, or and bring someone over here and interrogate them. I think we're burning and letting the troll loose no matter what, even if they know we're coming. It's better to have all that going in our favor than screwing about and trying to attack on our own. It may be a better idea to try to bring one out as opposed to send one in, though. I don't want to have Newt do something he's not comfortable with. Would we uh, lure them over to us? Oh, hell, people probably go out to take a piss every now and then or something, unless they just pop a squat in the middle of town. Nulin, uh, do your uh, people uh, or any these people have any kind of signal or calls that you use to uh, signal one another? Uh, can I roll maybe lore? You can lore you can roll your uh, lore sacred to see. Uh, so what is that sacred lore? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, you're rolling um, just rolling lore that's based on intelligence. Okay. Uh, I'm clicking on that. Yeah, th the skills don't work on the sheet, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, just D100 or the or the mac or you don't have a macro, so yeah. No, you, you don't know any of the horned goat signals. You know your tribe signals, but those are... I'm sorry, Quinn. I am not of much help in that. I can remove my war paint and go in and try and abduct someone for you to interrogate. Hmm. What what do you, what signals do you know? I know the signals of my people. Maybe that will be enough. Maybe they'll recognize your people and they'll come over and try to kill you. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. You can be a uh, how do you say a uh, big? <laughs> that's a very good idea. And then we can jump whoever comes out and black bag him and let Xerius have a bit of fun with him, I guess. That I can do. Well, let's set the trap then. No guns, keep it quiet. Knock him out. Okay. I pull I my Xerius to smile. He's like, my speciality. <laughs> Right, tell me what your plan is exactly. Um, since I'm gonna be the bait, um, interesting. Ah, yes. All tribes should have a patrol, correct? Could I use my survival skill to see if I can find tracks and maybe set myself up on one of those to be found? Yeah, you definitely can. Perfect. 
Mm. I remember that we have to do the fast before they can signal, uh, signal their other tribesmen. Okay. Stay close, but not too close. So go ahead and roll your survival. Okay. Is it trained? It's trained. Okay. Yes. Outrageous. Yeah, so you do. Um, so you kind of look around in this area, and I'm just going to take control of your token real quick. Um, and uh, basically, you over here, and uh, yeah, I wish. Uh, shoot. Uh, um, you see. Uh, you see um, this guy heading um, basically in a general direction um, this way. Oh, whoops. Um, this way? Okay. Uh, northeast, you don't see that. Um, but Yeah, I see that. I see that. That way? Yeah. So, yep. We're nearby, so we can bang on this guy. Yeah, you can. You can guys can get in position now that he knows which way he's going. He has time to round you guys up and move you over there. Stay in the bushes. And this is a fire, I'm assuming, correct? Yeah, it is a fire. Mm -hmm. And, like, that, the, the circle around it is what would be the visible part. Yeah, I mean, that's what's emitting light, right? Okay, okay. okay. So, um, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't know if it's gonna come out right, but I'm gonna make a, a Nighthog call, which is a commonly found animal in this okay. which should uh, kind of put the tribesmen on, on notice and will come. Go ahead and... Yeah, okay. So he like heads over this way and um... what was that? And he basically um... he has a lamp in in his hand so and he turns it on and as he turns it on you all are kind of just standing around him what do you do i'm gonna run up and try to shout him in his mouth and go ahead and roll um whoever tries to subdue him can either roll a go weapon skill or athletics who here has what's everyone's weapon skill oh sorry Everybody can do it too. If you want. You're ready to gang tackle. Only but... one person needs to smash the fuck out of this man. <laughs> so <laughs> everybody get in, get the fuck in. Um, on, I was gonna do some acrobatic and just try to fucking. That's do fine too. You can do that. All right, mm -hmm. fuck it. Here we go. Yeah, I'll just smack him with my uh, oh, shotgun. No. I guess. Okay, go ahead and try. I <laughs> yeah, so you all are trying to get a hold of him, and he like screams out, "Ah, I'm there!" And then you finally get him, but you're not sure. Oh, it wasn't. Shit. It wasn't done quietly for sure. And he's like kicking and thrashing about as you kind of hold him down and muffle his voice. Might as well kill him at this point. Let us drag him back into the forest. It will look like some animal took him. But ask your questions quickly. Let us go. Yeah, once we're into a proper position, I Igazarius will do his best to interrogate. Okay, so you pull him back, um, back out into the woods a bit, um, probably fifty yards away, and he's still thrashing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you you gonna let him speak. And first, we should bite him to a tree or something. What happened now? 
Uh, you guys um, are pulling him away from town to speak to him. I think that's what you're doing. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Did you cut out? I did for a little bit, yeah. So you just, if you guys are going to um, r- r- let him speak, let me know. You can tie him to a tree, whatever you're going to do, just say. Um, yeah, tie him to a tree. Once he's tied to a tree, Icazarius will stand in front of him, just kind of holding the shock maul very close to him. And um, he's going to ask, where is the... uh, Out of character, I'm trying to. I, I'm not sure if this is actually the Space Marine or not, or should we ask him who who's in there or where is he? He's Probably who and where. He just starts screaming. I'm being down, captive. Come this way. He's like screaming as loud as he can. I thought somebody shed shed his mouth. How are you gonna? How's he gonna answer if you can't speak? Yeah, we haven't thought this through. Use your blinks, motherfucker. I'm gagging him. We ain't doing nothing as first. Wait, no. I don't trust this fucking guy. We can Is he really just going to have a conversation with us? Oh, no. I, I think I see the... I think I see a movement in the shadows. Alright, well, can I use Intimidate first to try and get him to shut up? Sure. And he's gagged currently. He can't speak, but. <laughs> and. And. Um, Akazarius just looks at him. He's like, if you don't tell us what we need to know, we will kill you. We'll cut out your tongue and put your endurance on display. You say so much as a word that isn't an answer you raise your voice i'll make sure that any kind of looks at um uh uh newell and he's like i'll let sure that make sure that my friend gets a little bit of satisfaction for his tribe he looks like he's not gonna say anything at this point it seemed to cow him a little bit He's still gagged currently, though. I'm going to put my spear up to his, the side of his head and nod towards Newt to ungag him. I'm going to ram my spear through his fucking mouth if he starts screaming. Newt will ungag on Jangus's, uh, uh, <clears throat> come on. You ungag him, he doesn't scream out this time. All right, I'm going to roll interrogate now, if that's allowed, or do I have to count him some more? Go ahead and... What did you ask him? I was going to ask him, uh, who is who else is locked up here besides the girl, and where and where are they? Okay, go ahead and roll it. And I can re-roll it if it fails. Why? You mean for a, with a fate point? Uh, with face of the law. Okay. You say so. Oh, yes. Pass it in here. Okay. He says, I'm not sure who you're talking about, quite honestly. The beast does not take my counsel for things. Well, that was a waste of time. (laughs) Who is this uh, Monsieur Beast that you speak of? (laughs) The king of the horned goat, empowered by the gods. The gods? 
I told you we should have just burned down this village. What did you do with the little girl? Why does she look dead? Oh, she's not dead yet. Every man had his way with her. And now she hangs on display. At my master's bidding. No, hold on, don't kill him. Oh, yeah. No, he, he, stabbed, he stabbed him through the face. Ah, uh, shit, I want to get me. I like no, yeah. I kill him. And right after he stabbed, like, Icazarius just caves his skull in. I say that we set fire to this whole fucking place. I don't have enough face these people head on. They don't solve our problem here with Galen. Apparently yeah, Galen's yeah. being held in here. Because the man said otherwise. <sighs> and I have a sneaking suspicion that this uh, Monsieur Beast might be our uh, m might be our space marine. Well, we gotta confirm that before we just go running off, don't we? Well, we could set a light to one building, we could set a light to all of them. I mean, come on, I come here and we don't have a single fire or real explosion. Oh, we're gonna set fires and cause explosions in just a moment, I'm sure. Alright. Here's the plan. Set the fires opposite of where that troll's being held. Some of them will run over, maybe put it out, or maybe they'll just let it burn. I don't understand these people. And then somebody sneak up, get that troll out. I'm going for the girl. I'll, I'll meet up with you guys. I will start setting fires. Try okay. to figure out where they're holding Galen if they're holding him. I'm going to increase your, your range on what you see real quick. By just a smidge, because it's hard to tell. Um, I guess there is just this kind of looks like I'm not a master of subtlety. Well, wait till things start going nuts and pop out, I guess. Or help Vanso set some fires, make sure he stays safe while he's doing so. Very well. And with Vanso and uh, operate as protection for him. Well, Newt, I know I said I didn't want to dishonor you, but you might want to pretend like you're one of them so you can get that troll out of his cage. I wanted to kill this man here. You stole that from me. That was not wise, Jangus. Plenty to go around, Newt. Is there some water nearby or anything? I just stopped. Oh, there's water there. everywhere. It's you're in a swamp. Cool. So I I wash up all I wash off all my war paint, and uh, I look at the the freshly killed person, and. <laughs> Before you try to infiltrate them, let us set a fire. People are less likely to pay attention to you if they are panicking. Yeah, I agree. And he starts, like, he changes, like, he, he takes his, uh, um, uh, what do you call that? The, his, uh, his, his furs, fur, yeah, his furs off, and in 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 and he replaces it with the uh, the person they just killed. He mm -hmm. also takes rub some war paint off that person and starts painting his own face. Yeah, I'll give you uh, a plus ten on your deception for that. Let okay, me see. Cool. So you guys are setting this building right here on fire. Is that correct? I'm gonna set multiple buildings on fire. Okay, this is one you're gonna start with. Follow me, Ikazarius, closely. Alright, hold on. Oh, and he will. He's, hold on, guys. Don't move yeah, around too much. Okay, yeah, I'll get that one too. Jangus is going to try to skirt around the edge of the camp, stay silent, and try to get up to where he can, he can pull uh, Pesha, is it? Mm hmm. And pull her up from that where she's being hung from.
goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Now we must run the floor of your cat. And the final building shall be this one. Couple of dirt bags sprinting around. And okay. So, so you go and you set two of these buildings on fire pretty quickly, and they go up very quickly. Um, so, as you're doing that, what's Jengus and Newland doing? I'm gonna try to determine the best path I can to sneak up to where Hesh's um, rope is on, is tied to. Yeah, you you know that. Um, Basically, it was uh, the troll and where Pesha was is kind of on the opposite side. So you're not exactly, you, know, you, you think it's over to the west somewhere. <sighs> All right, Newt. Let me lead a few feet ahead. Stay behind me. I'll make it look like I'm calling for help. All right. I'll follow your lead, Newt. Right. I've got my man stopper rounds in because this is big. This is big business. So bigger than the two giant goatmen. Bigger than my what? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, to be fair, I wasn't ready for that. Not that. Not that that three pen would have made a whole hell of a lot of difference anyway. But I think those things had eleven defense. They were rowdy as fuck. I really don't care what their defense was. I just knew that we weren't going to win that fight. <laughs> <laughs> so Newt is going to holster his pistol and pull his sword out. Um, how much can I move before you... You can just move? just move and I'll just tell you when to stop. Okay, so I'm going to move... Up to While he's moving, we're going to set fire to this building and that's going to be the last one. Okay. I'm going to give him a couple of... And, uh, uh, Chris, if you're okay, I think we should go uh, this way, like, around, so we can... That's okay. okay. I'm going to give Newt a couple of tunnels of space here so because he said he's going to run out for help so i'm going to go ahead and work off of whenever he does that and takes up attention of people and get That's around fine. so as as newt's moving uh there's a guy that basically comes into um your line of sight and he kind of like looks kind of frantic and he's like the fires the fires help me put them out you put them out. I must report to the king. Get out of my way, fool. Alright, go ahead and roll Deceive with a plus 10. Deceive. Now, now you're, you're not trained, but I said since the darkness. You just say you're rolling against whatever your fellowship is, plus 10. Okay, so okay, so should I just click on fellowship? Or? Uh, You can, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Plus point. Should also modify this 10? Yes. Oh, baby. So he's like, very well, very well. And he, like, cuts this angle and starts, like, bucketing the swamp water onto the fire. Okay. All right, so as you guys set this other fire, what do you do? Oh, no, wait, we can't go that way. Shit. You can go underneath it. You can go underneath uh... it. Go pro, boys. Because <laughs> they're like all, all these buildings are mostly um, raised. Are you right? ready to get a bit dirty? Because that is. <laughs> and Isles is like, I'm always ready to purge some heretics. <laughs> Follow me quickly. Alright, so just stay where you guys are. What is uh, Newt and. Uh... Jengus doing. Well, Jengus is doing ninja on that guy. No, I ain't fucking. I ain't touching that idiot. He can put that fire out. Right past stab him in the back, man. Ninja style. Mm -mm. Okay. I move up to him. I have to fight him on later. I'll just right. shoot him later. That'll be fine. So you're getting closer. You you hear the fen troll. So um, basically, you see basically where it is in the the corner because I know you can see the. So yeah, and, I'm, and I'm following your arrow in order like meta game that. Yeah, no, no, you're good. You you see basically where it is. Um okay. and uh you um 
you see where it is and you know basically based on where the fin troll is kind of uh pesha would be uh, south of that somewhere so i uh newland would silently point his sword south of him uh, getting jangus's attention and he'll also like you know with his hands like kind of make the sign of a small person i would see what he's going for and then shake my gun towards the fin troll and then give him a little salute this is where we're gonna part ways because <sighs> getting that fin troll is more important than what i'm doing so Can fuck i'm right next to him i just even tell him newt go ahead and get the fin troll i'll work my way around alone good luck been an honor knowing you though i haven't known you too long Likewise, friend, once the fan troll is released, I think it is each man for himself. Be careful. Save the girl if you can. Well, I think I'll manage. Guess we'll see. So, I okay, why don't you go ahead and move in like uh, four squares each, whichever way you're going. Okay. If you come in contact with another token, please stop. Uh, here's the thing. Can you see through the walls or no? Uh, you can see through the walls because they're not really walls. They're, um, so they're platforms, basically. All, all, this, um, all these buildings are above you, kind of, in oh, one way or another. Disgusting. One love, man. One, one love. Okay, so uh, Newland, as you're walking, you see somebody kind of up on uh, one of these platforms about six feet above. I need you to roll stealth. Okay. Does he get a night bonus? No, because he's not trained, so I'm making him just roll base. So that is so his bonus. He, he is getting a night bonus, but he has a negative for not being trained in it. Okay, so I just rolled my agility, correct? Yeah, that's fine. And any modifiers? No. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, as you're walking by, um, I'm just going to um, let you see this token a little bit. <laughs> so, um, you you come into in this um person on the top of the platform looks down she's like who goes there and it looks physically like a woman like it has breasts but it also has a beard um so it's some sort of hermaphrodite apparently um it basically Hops down. Uh, actually, it doesn't hop down off the platform, but it points um, a flamer at you. Hmm. Who is that? I don't recognize you. I'm a tribesman. There are invaders setting the fire, setting the homestead on fire. I need to report to the king. Let me through. What is your name? Go ahead My and roll. Matters... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. My name matters little right now. I need to report to the king. Okay, go ahead and roll. Right. Yeah, go ahead and roll deceive. Okay. Just a raw fellowship roll. Actually, plus 10 because you have all the markings and stuff. Oh no! Oh, um, <laughs> no. She like clicks on this this button on the flamer, and you just see it start like igniting from the front. She hasn't pressed the trigger yet. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut to Jengus. Uh, what are you doing? Slipping and sliding up under these fucking homes, homie. Yeah, just... You can go ahead and roll. Uh, move four more squares. I don't know if she moved right in the middle of everything, but... Dude, sometimes you just gotta wing it. 
you guys haven't gotten fucked yet. You're right there. Okay. So uh, you keep moving and you don't see anybody. Um, you hear a lot of frantic voices over towards your um, uh, the east part of the right part of the map, right? Where they're dealing with the fires. What's Vanso and Icazarius doing? I think we should just move up some more, huh? Yeah, I think we should move up. That's my suggestion. Wait, where? Can you point? Which way you mean? Did you not see my ping? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, so. Yeah, you can move four oh, squares. Really? You want to follow me, bro? Yeah. <laughs> okay, back to Newland. Um, once you uh, roll your initiative. Cool. Oh, shit. Alright. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 10 pun damage. Oh, I hope your dodge is good. Can you parry fire? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Um, so basically, she just uh, she aims and she launches her uh, f hand flamer at you. She throws the gun at him, huh? Well, she launches the <laughs> molten fire from the flamer towards him. Um, let me. Why is there no music? Hold on. Uh, bear with me. She's both the bride and the husband of the goat. Mm. <laughs> Outrageous. All right. Um, sorry about that. All right. Let's see. Oh, God. So she basically fires her hand flamer down, and it goes well past you. Um, it probably goes like it goes like this far. And um, so hmm. flamer weapons automatically hit. Oh, they automatically hit. Spray has no ballistic skill. Oh. Coming in agility test. Yeah, yeah. They have to make um. So he, Zyper has to make an agility test or just eat that shit. Okay. Roll, uh, roll dodge. Dodge. Oh. Uh, I'm not trained in dodge, you just straight up agility, correct? It, it's a flight agility. Mm -hmm. <coughs> agility minus, yeah, agility. minus 20, right? No, it's just plus zero. It's, it, all it is is a challenging agility test. Oh, oh fuck. Beautiful. You, can, um, you might want to reroll yeah. that. <laughs> oh, I can use that fate to reroll? Yep, yeah, you can reroll. Mm -hmm. Probably a good idea. Because you're going to catch... It's bad. Now, what does being set on fire do? Yes. Say that again. What does being set on fire do? Bad shit. Yeah, I think it's continued damage, basically. You take continuous damage that ignores armor and toughness. So, that's fucking bad. I know it at least ignores armor, it might ignore both, and that's really fucking bad. Yeah, so she's, she's uh, keep in mind, she's about six feet above you. Um, so, she shoots, and you... At the last minute, get out of the way, and the flames like s just go by you. Under the building. Yes, that's what I was going to do next. Uh, yeah, you're up. Go ahead. Can I uh, do like that full movement to run underneath the building and away from? Yes, her? yes. You're not engaged with her. Awesome. I'm going to do that. But okay. I would like to, if you'd allow me to do it piece by piece, so I don't overshoot. <laughs> no, yeah. Go ahead. Whatever you do. So once I get there. What are my options? Well, that was a was that a half move? Uh, one minute, hold on. 
five paces uh, crap hold on uh, that, would be, that would have been a full move yeah then you can't do anything else okay so that's my turn I'm, cha I'm changing the squares to one so oh great oh man that's right Oh god! Oh. I'm closing my I'm closing my eyes. Oh, I can't see. I don't, I don't, I don't, the, whole, I don't the whole place is on fire. It's so bright. Wow! All I did was um. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit happened. Why Why would that do that? That's um. It's still enabled. Um, hmm. Whenever you press, press it again. I guess. <laughs> uh, uh, we're, we're we're walking straight into fuck down. Yeah, you guys got it. It's fun. No, this is exactly where I want to be. Just tie that's him fine. Up and go ahead. Um. So, all right. Uh, go, uh, Jengus, go ahead. You're going the right way anyway. I mean, I, you're going that way anyhow, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> this is gonna be funny to stumble into these idiots. So I'm going. I'm going through bushes and stuff. I have no idea where these two are, and I see someone in front of me. I'm creeping up behind them. And I put my gun to the back of Anso's head, not knowing it's him, I guess. Just don't move. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Oh, hell, my mistake. Can't you see by my armor? It is quite distinct and unique. You're like a goddamn branch to me. I know, it is quite good for hiding in the bushes. Nice fires, by the way. Did you find anything else yet? No, just a uh, shit cover the mud. Well, let's keep looking. Newt's gonna go with that troll out soon. I don't wanna be here when it's uh, rampaging around. You left him all alone. Well, I didn't expect to meet the two of you idiots down here neither. I am starting to uh, second uh, guess the whole fan troll idea. I am thinking that we will probably have to deal with it uh, quite soon. Well, it's a bit late to take back right now. Might just have to deal with that. Merde. And you can go ahead and go on. I'm just kind of... That was my move. And I'm just yeah, you guys can all move up together. Whatever. Well, I'm going to let Xerius move forward because I don't know why I was reading. He is the tank. Well, I'm gonna pretend like I don't see the beast, and I'm gonna go this way. How much was our 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 view? Was it one square or two squares? You can see two squares. You you get up towards the. Okay, so basically roll. Now. Yeah, roll, roll um roll stealth. Uh, okay. Is that gonna take away my action? No. So you can sneak up on the beast, who I still think is Galen. Might, could be. Maybe Galen's the bride of the goat. Galen's the bride of the goat. <laughs> <laughs> I still pass. Yeah, you're good. You wow. pass. So you see this, you see this large person uh, underneath Pesha by some measure kind of like stalking the edge of that platform which is a good 10 feet above you there's a ladder that goes up but um and he's just like walking pacing back and forth and he has the horn the skull mask on and uh you get it you get a better you hold on you get a better look at the skull mask and um it's a real skull um that's been fitted over uh, his head. Go ahead and roll fear check. <laughs> Fucking fear. <laughs> Watch his like as there takes another nap. Uh, just roll another seven, bro. You're fine. Shut up. Sneak up behind him and smack him in the head with your shock maul. So you look up and you just at this. You notice like there's still like flesh and blood on the skull that this 
person's wearing and you just kind of like stand there and stare up in horror. And Vanso and Jenga see like Icazarius walk up there and like look up and then just not move. I have a question. Can mm-hmm. you see my sword? Could I possibly like break the foundation of that building if I get under it? Mm, you could try. They're made of pretty thick logs. They're made partially of trees, right? I mean, you, uh, hacking at it at a while, maybe. But okay, no. I don't know if you're gonna have a while with that guy standing there. Be so Vanso is gonna move forward. Like, Icazarius, what is the problem? Mm-hmm. I should see him at this point, right? Like, yeah, you uh, vaguely I'm see somebody standing, standing up there. Not you don't see in you don't see in the detail that Icazarius saw though. Icazarius. Oh fuck. All right, roll Come stealth. On, this fucking D one hundred system is such bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Come on. <laughs> So you're like, Icazarius, you know, you like touch him on the shoulder and basically he looks down at you and you look up at, up at him and roll fear. Here we go again. Fear check two electric boogaloo. Okay. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so you also you also like stop in fear and <laughs> and he like hops down into this bog right next to you and there's like and Jengus hears it and he's like what tab we hear And then we're gonna cut back to Newland. Who had the jaded talent? I do. Oh, okay, so you should be fine. Oh yeah, I don't care about the skull. I yeah. care. I, I didn't. I was saddened, but I didn't. It didn't bother me when uh, what's her name died, because I've seen shit like that before. So. Newland, what are you gonna do with this fen troll? It's in this uh, big ass pen, um, with a door basically roped, um, roped to get you know. To, to be roped fair, clothes. Do do I? Do I get to go before the bride? Or? Yeah. Actually, go ahead and okay. roll roll stealth for me. Okay, cool. Because she lost lost sight of you. Um, <clears throat> this thing um, troll is gonna do fucking work. <laughs> agility. No modifier. Oh, So um, you're gonna go before her, but she's gonna react. Sweet. Uh, so you said there's a gate with a rope? Yep, you can just cut it open. That uh, easy. Wait, which way is the gate point? Uh, yeah, south? Okay, south. so you're good. You're, you're, you're safe. He's not safe, but he leaves. No. <laughs> wait, no. okay, wait, wait, hold on, guys. Just stop. One so, do I need to move south here to cut the ropes? Or can I cut the ropes from where you I am? You can have? cut it from there. The ropes are wrapped around it in a way where if you cut the ropes from where you are, it would loosen it, and you could push the gate open with your sword if you wanted. You could move and cut it open if you wanted. Cut, then go field position, man. Cool. So this is what I'm going to... Ah, shit. Okay, so I'm going to cut the ropes. Okay. Then move here. Okay. So you want me to roll the sword? Uh, roll, roll what? Do I, do I need to roll a sword attack? To cut no, 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 no. You just cut it. Uh, it's just, cool. So as you, cut you, it. you cut it, and, yep, and you move. And as you cut it, the troll, like, turns towards, like, looks kind of, well, what you would assume is confused. And it makes this... And it looks at you, and it just, like, just starts slamming the pen and slams it open and then roars. Roar fear check. <laughs> Willpower. Oh, 
Beautiful. Okay. So you're just like, holy shit, that what that did I do? What did I do? Um, mm -hmm. So the Bride of the Goat sees... Um, okay, what am I doing? I'm going to roll initiative for this thing. It's not going to act until next turn, but it's in initiative now. Yes. Um, so um, the Bride of the Goat's turn, she sees this thing, and she's like, it's free! And she shoots it with a flamer. All she does on that side? have to make a fear check? Yeah, you're right. She probably should. Um, she probably should roll a fear check. Um, I'm going to make a roll fear check, sure. I think that's fair. I'm going to give her a plus 10 because she has seen this thing daily for a long time. So, just 10. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. So, if they want to pass fear check. Yeah, so she she is scared of it, but she's seen it enough and probably had a hand in putting it there. Um, but she shoots it with a hand flamer. But she misses. No, she he Oh, yeah, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So it rolls an agility roll. Yep. Um where is it? I'll look up flame, just so I know what they have to roll. He has to roll mm -hmm. for that, or else he catches on fire. He did. He does get hit. Um, damage nine. Does the flamer ignore all like armor and toughness bonus or not? No? The initial hit. Uh, okay. The initial hits you you factor in armor. Two. The armor. Um, okay. He has to roll a second agility check. To see if he catches on fire. Okay, so he takes two damage there from the initial blast, and we'll see if he catches on fire or not. He does. Oh fuck. Okay. So <laughs> let's let's go ahead and set up how this is gonna go as far as him being on fire, just so you know what the fuck's going on mm -hmm. here. Um. So he's gonna roll agility every single turn. Okay. He's gonna roll. He's gonna roll his da like the damage that he takes first next turn. He's gonna take one d10, ignoring armor, and suffer one level of fatigue every round until the fire is extinguished. Okay. And so at, in the beginning of the round, he's gonna roll. Uh, let me see. Let's see. While on fire, he must make a challenging willpower test to act normally. A uh, character who is on fire can try to extinguish the flames by dropping prone and making a hard minus 20 agility test as a full action. So he's pretty much on fire for the rest of this encounter since he mm -hmm. has 20 agility. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, um. Fuck me. Back to you, Dan. What's Jengus doing? That he's. <laughs> You, you see what's going on, but it's in shadow, right? Kind of. I see these two completely terrified, as is the norm now for the last three or four, however long hours of running into things that aren't just fen trolls. And so Jengus sort of resigns himself. He just walks out of the side of the bush. He's not trying to hide himself or anything. And the guy says, "What?" The guy said, "What do we have here?" Right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna walk out of the bush as well. It looks like what we got here is a big ugly son of a bitch. Get my gun out and twirl it a bit. He turns towards you and he has this massive sword uh, in his hands. And he looks, oh, someone who is not ready to shit their pants. Fun. We'll see who shits themselves. I hear oh, dying. Man. Comes in to you. Don't flatter yourself. I shit my pants a long time ago. <laughs> all right, all four of you um, are going to roll initiative. <laughs> Tell him, I, let's see who's quicker. It's always me. <laughs> that is shit initiative. All right. Uh, let me uh, fix this. Uh, turn in order. Okay, so put everybody in the correct order here. I'm going to go to... We're just going to start now, so put everybody in the right order. 
Uh, Jinx there. Put the there. Is that everybody? I believe so. Yes. They're they're busy. They're busy putting out the fires. Okay. <coughs> uh, Bright of the goats on there. Okay, Fentrell's on there. All right, Jengus, go ahead. Oh fuck! I'm gonna demolish this dude. Um, yeah, man. So that's point blank. First of all, I think plus ten. Well, I mean, you're you're two meters away. Yeah, so point blank for combat is plus 30. <laughs> so point blank. Okay, so I've got, yeah. So it's plus 30 for point blank. Um, and then aim. I don't, I'm not even going to aim because I mean, he's right there. Plus 30 point blank. Standard attack. Mm -hmm. So And red dot sight. So I, I think my max I can get on a, on a one roll is a plus 40 if I remember correctly. As far as bonuses. I'll take your word for it. Just wanna confer I, I want to confirm it. I don't think you can get higher than that. Oh, the maximum total bonus that can be applied to a test is plus 60. Okay, well, uh, okay. So, point blank plus 30, red dot sight plus 10, standard attack plus 10, plus 50. Okay, that's a hit. Um, and it is going to be with the man stopper pen. Yeah, that's three pen. All right, let me look at the beast here. The beast. And it will be in his fucking face. Oh, nice. So, um, so he takes six damage. Oh, that's actually his arm. Sorry, that's his... Same. Left it's arm. the same. So basically you just fire and it like blows a huge hole in his left arm and he snarls. Um, he's going to, uh, move towards you and swing his sword at you. So he no, misses. Okay, <laughs> Shouldn't come down. That will fucking hurt though, so. So he whiffs. It chops down. It ch basically, there's a small tree behind you, and you duck, and he just chops the tree in half. You're a bit slow. And the Fentrol goes, so he's gonna. He takes damage, right? Uh, fire yeah, damage. Ten, ignoring Indeed, armor. Ten, so. Uh, but not toughness. Not toughness. I was wrong about that. Three. I believe that's gonna get soaked. He doesn't give a uh, shit. He's amazing. Yeah, that's oh definitely God. getting soaked. Um, <laughs> it's gonna go so bad. And um, we'll power test to act normal. Yep. Uh, let's see. No. So what does it do if it doesn't act normally? Just screams on fire. Pretty much, I think. So with fire, otherwise he may only flail in agony and scream, which counts as a full action. So yep, yes. he will. Akazarius, roll to break out of your shock here. Willpower. You guys can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> you shouldn't believe in me. My, uh, my history with willpower has not been good. And you do it! Okay, Icazarius, you're you're out of your shock. You Protection. snap out of it. I'm gonna spend a full turn going into frenzy. Okay. All right. So this uh, lady sees the Fentrol on fire and just screaming, and she 
uh, tries to track Newland again. Go ahead and roll stealth, Newland. Okay. See if she can find you because it's dark. Um, so she she basically spots to where you went when you opened the gate, and she um, shoots you again with a flamer. Roll agility. No. Can I try with the force at the? Uh, you can give plus ten minute. to your roll with a fate point, which you would pass. Oh yes, I would do that. This is my second fate point. Okay. So you are able to avoid the flames once more. What do you do? Nice. I'm under the building. Uh, he's got a willpower. He's afraid. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I need to willpower it, correct? Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do that first. Yep. Okay. Now remember you have negative 10 to your next actions. I'm just gonna ignore what just happened. But... Oh, okay, no, that's fine. I, I no, no, go ahead. I, I, I didn't think about it. Go ahead. But now you have negative 10 to all your actions. Uh, could I... Could I just, like... Like eat, drop to the ground and kind of like on my belly, just go like a little further away and kind of wallow in the mud. Yeah, you can definitely do that. <clears throat> uh, so I'm gonna say she can't see you anymore if you do that. Okay, and that will be my turn. Like just keep wallowing in the mud. Get yeah, you just get the... down and in the mud and the muck, she can't see you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just basically get away from these two people and then see what happens. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah. yeah, predator. Predator. No, Vance's Jengus. Uh, so I'm going to because I believe disengage is cause disengage is classified as a movement uh, subtype. So, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you can you can tell me if I'm wrong for interpreting this, but I was just going to disengage and shoot him again. It's technically moving and shooting. You can, and if, if not, I'm just going to move normally away. I, I think that's true because you do half moves or... Because it doesn't just... There's not an action that's just move. So I would agree. Well, there is one that is a just move, but I was looking at subtype. So yeah, I, no, you're fine. Yeah, you can do okay. it. I just wanted to clarify with you before I said some cheeky shit. So I'm going to disengage to get my point blank with him again. Because uh, if I, I could fire a melee with no penalty, but I wouldn't get my bonus. So I'm going to disengage and standard attack with my Desperado uh, ability. So it's going to be a plus 50 again. And I needed it. Holy shit. God damn, it's horrible. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, so you hit him. Nine damage, pin three, right? So. Leg. Leg. Left leg. Um, so he takes six damage. Um, it shoots him and he, like, screams out, but he doesn't. Oh, look at the person. Hold on. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, he takes six damage. He's still not, not below zero. I actually have a question. Do we yep. know what Galen looks like at all? Like, were we given a picture or just the name? Uh, yes, you can say they gave you a, a picture, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so he takes six damage. So it's his turn again. Uh, one second. Give me just one second. Um, he's going to, um, hmm. 
Oh, I need to make sure I'm using that shit. I keep forgetting about mutation. Remember that next time. Hmm. He's actually going to try to dodge that last shot, by the way. Yeah, real quick. Um, if you know, since he's trying to do the dodge retroactive, can I use my yes. death sight? Mm -hmm. So you take an extra point of damage, and I'll get a point of corruption. Okay, if you hit right. Yeah, if I hit. Because he's dodging. Um, okay, so he has. He's actually trained, so he gets plus ten. Nope. So he takes an extra point of damage. You hit him in the leg, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So he takes an extra point of damage. Okay. So take your point of corruption. Got it. Uh, he's going to move and attack again. Um, and he is going to try to... Um, yeah, so he attacks. Uh, do, 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 do. I'll try to dodge. I think that's probably wise. Yeah. <laughs> when when you get Emperor's Wrath on that one? Let's just fucking not. Let's just not get fucking hit for eighteen points of damage. Oh my god. He would have got he he well, he can't get the Emperor's Wrath, right? I mean I don't think NPCs can get the Emperor's Wrath against you, Unless you right? decide they can get Righteous Fury, yeah. they usually can. Yeah. So, um, he misses anyway. He has Crushing Blow, too, so... Uh, Fentrol. straight up killed me. Jesus Agility. Christ. Agility roll for the Fentrol first. He, can, he can't pass, though, right? I think. Um, I don't know one you can pass anything. Yeah, well, oh, let's, let's do his damage first. Oh, whoops, wrong, 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 wrong. No, that doesn't beat his toughness. Um, okay, and uh, willpower then to act normally. Do that. Um, we'll find the damn thing. Nope. Flailing in pain. Well, I guess I'll roll a jelly to see if he can. Uh, he can't even put it out, can he? Or can yeah, he? The one. Mm -hmm. All right. Who's next? Newt, I think. Or Icazarius. You're in a frenzy. Yeah. Yep. I'm going after the first enemy I see. And what do you know? Mm hmm. So I'm going to get a plus 10 to my weapon skill. Okay. Uh, that will hit. That will hit eight damage. Um, no penetration. Does frenzy do anything for damage at all? No, it just it, I'm immune to fear and stunning and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Eight. Um, no pen. He takes one damage. So he's got a roll for the shocking. Yeah. What's your weapon do? What's the uh, okay, you're ready to take uh, one lead point and shock damage after a tough match. Make a challenging toughness for a fail. If it fails, okay. <clears throat> so he's going to make a toughness roll. No, he's so he is um, one level of fatigue and is stunned for the number of right. four turns. <laughs> yep, so he's stunned for four two turns. turns. Two turns, no, half. Uh, half. All right, so he's stunned for two turns. That might be a life saver, dude. And so you hit him in the back with your shock maul. Kind of describe how that goes. Uh, you know, he to psych himself up. He's just I care. I care. Just shouts. It is better to live for the or die for the emperor than live for yourself. And then charges in and smacks him in the back with his shock maul. Okay. So. <clears throat> 
she can't find uh, Newland anymore, so she just kind of goes to where there's a bunch of where somebody just screamed out something about the God Emperor. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Not wrong, it's set on fire. <laughs> Uh, let's see how far she can move on half moves. Uh, yeah, so she can move four. One, two, three, four. And um, she just shoots off just straight south. But it's going to hit the beast as well, isn't it? No, it shoots at a straight line. It's no, not it's a. Degrees. It's a 30 degree cone. Oh, is it? Then yeah. yeah. Yep. She does. So it uh, would hit, that hit everybody, right? Pretty much. Uh. So that's what she does. She didn't give a fuck. She doesn't know what's going on down there. She just sees a bunch of shadows. Um, okay. No room for pussies in Corn's army. Here we go. Damage isn't that bad. All right, go ahead and roll and see if you get hit first of all. The effect. Everyone. Is bad. Let's see. Someone checking my dodge to make sure that. All right, here we go. I'm just fucking unbelievable tonight. It's hard being the best. <laughs> so this is an actual straight up agility for me. Yep, it's straight up. I mean, it, mine was just identical, so it didn't matter. Yeah, it's straight up agility test. I took one damage. One motherfucking damage. Now you guys gotta roll agility again to see if you catch on fire. <laughs> and then it gets really fun. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna burn a. Or I'm gonna use a Yeah, I'm gonna die today. Because if I roll nine, I die. I, I, I'm, I'm at zero. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're all on fire. Let's see if let's see if the beast is on fire. <laughs> no, <laughs> beast is not on fire. Oh he! Oh no, the beast is dead. Next turn. We gotta get that flamer. It's really not that impressive. All right, so you guys are all on fire. Uh, just mark down any damage you took. It was only a six, so. Oh fuck! Well, I have armor. Does that affect it at all? This this initial one, yes. Uh, armor and toughness do do the initial one. So if it if it um, soaked it all, that's fine. Newland in, in the mud up there. Okay. Um, New, New, Newland sees this ventral just stuck there. Correct. Yeah, it's just screaming, not doing anything on fire. Does the set on fire break your fear or no? I think I, I think I broke my fear. No. Oh yeah, you broke your fear. Yeah, broke your fear. He's talking about Vance, so I, I would fire let. Fire doesn't break fear. Yeah. Um, in oh, fact, it makes it worse because you have to roll willpower to see if you can act normally, as well as rolling the willpower to break out of your fear. <laughs> so, so I have to roll willpower in order to roll willpower. Yes. Fuck. No, you're rolling. Yeah, you're rolling willpower twice, regardless. Yeah, and and you're at a minus ten, right? Because you're. You recovered from shock. Everybody who's recovered from shock is rolling. Well, I'm dead. Like dead. <laughs> You're not necessarily dead. Somebody oh, could put no. you out, right? If somebody, if somebody physically put you out, I'd let them do that for a full round oh, action. God, Emperor, please. I got fucking priorities. I'm sorry, I but really there's water everywhere. You got If you break out of your fear and dive into some water, there you go. I mean, yeah, you you could if you drop to the um. If you break out of your fear and out of your shock and come with a wherewithal, you could dive into the, the muck and put yourself out. It would be very easy to do because you're in a swamp. But Newland, go ahead, Zypher. Uh, so... Help us, please. Five, five meters. So I'm, I'm going to be like crawling in the mud all the way here. <laughs> And could I do like a strength check since I don't see the person who shot the flames up? Basically, a strength check to try and climb that thing. You can climb it. That's fine. You can just do it as a half action. You're good. 
Cool. So I'll come there. Yep. And that would be your turn. <laughs> All right, man. So first thing, uh, let's take damage. Yeah. Oh, baby. I don't think that roll did that roll correctly. I don't believe it. No. Oh, There's. Sorry, did I? I was an accident. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna say. Oh, I should go the other way now. <laughs> Wait, how did the first roll not, not Because, work? because, if, if, yeah, the slash at the end. There's no dividing number. Like... Oh, well, shit. Three damage. Okay, so, yep, just keep track of your damage. Toughness bonus only to that. Mm hmm. Armor only counts in the first one. One wound left. Okay. You got it. All right, so now now agility to put uh well fir first thing shock. Yep, willpower. So what is it now? Minus five. Minus, minus 10? ten. Well, the willpower the willpower roll is not at a minus ten. Yep, it's a straight. This Your is second straight willpower. Will be at a minus ten. Yes. Okay, so there you go. So now you're able to act. Minus so seven, can I just kind of dive into the water? Now, when okay, so that you broke out of your shot. Now you have to roll willpower to act normally because you're on fire. So this okay. this is a willpower minus ten. Well, minus five because I have a plus five. Oh, you're right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Oh, it's tough. I might die next turn if I no one puts me out. Just letting y'all know. Genghis. I got. I got priorities. Let me get my hands out of my sleeves here. All right. Uh, so does the beast still count as engaged when he's stunned? No. Okay. So I'm gonna point blank shoot this stunned motherfucker and kill him, probably, unless I roll like complete trash. Plus, it probably, I'm probably getting the full plus sixty. I mean, point blank stunned and red dot single. Yeah. So yeah. He can't. He can't evade either. So if you hit him, you hit him. Yeah, eleven damage. Uh, so he's in the mid section, I believe. So he goes into critical. Let's see here. You want to tell me what uh, impact uh, at a minus? You hit him for eleven damage. Pen four. Pen three. Uh, so tell me what a negative six is in the body for impact. Ooh. Let's go take a look. Suffers a D5 levels of fatigue, is flung D5 meters from the attacker, and falls prone, stunned for an additional two rounds. We'll just... Yeah. He, <coughs> so you shoot him, and he flies backwards over this away, and uh, is just laying in the ground, not moving. Okay. Right. Uh, he skipped Fentrol. Um, Fentrol basically uh, is going to take damage again, maybe. It's not taking any damage, really. Um, no, it's just a that, big dump. that might actually give it some damage. Uh, I think that'll give it like. Can can another character physically throw my character in the water? In the yeah, water? some like, anybody could anybody, anybody could put you out. Yeah, somebody oh, can please, yeah, definitely there. put you out. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I can. I'm frenzied. Yeah, he's frenzied, so he actually can't. Oh, he <laughs> A frenzied guy couldn't push me over? Uh, he, he, he only attacks, right? Yeah. He, he gets yeah. to ignore the act normally thing because he's just going to run right at the nearest enemy. So, okay. wall and fire. So, the fin troll is just doing what it does. Icazarius. The beast is still in range, so you need to go after it. Him. On the ground. <laughs> okay. I'll let you cutie oh, growl him though. Fine. Yeah, you just go over and you can uh, just tell me how you kill him. I rip off his helmet and then just start beating his skull in with my my shock baton. Oh okay. baby. Now we'll now we'll never be able to identify him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jengis, if you save me, I'll give you my extra live pistol. You can sell it or do whatever you want. I want your second-hand goods, motherfucker. Well, you can trade it in. On the acquisition, you can trade it in to lower the uh, the difficulty. Uh, she oh, sees... Yeah. um. So the Bride of the Goat sees Icazarius bashing in the head of this 
person screams no and just like shoots uh the flamer towards Icazarius, which will hit Vanso as well. Motherfucker. Did Icazarius roll his fire damage? Because he is on fire. Oh yeah, go ahead and roll yeah, roll your fire damage. Actually, um yeah, roll your fire damage. First thing. D ten. Okay, oh, that didn't get through. Um so uh the agility to put it out. Uh, or can he, he do that when he frenzied? Out. Yeah, he doesn't care. He, the benefit of not caring is that he got to run yeah. over and beat that dude to death, yeah. but the, the penalty is that he went and did that instead of putting himself out right. because he doesn't give a yeah. shit. Yeah. All right, so here we go with the hand flamer. See what the damage is. Seven damage. Uh. Uh, you don't get to evade I'm at, frenzied. Uh, I'm at negative one. You you can try to evade though. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Dodge. You can both. Uh, Icazarius cannot dodge frenzied. I do not believe. Nope. Oh fuck me! I'm at negative one. Negative one. Uh, let's see where it hit you. <laughs> All your flesh burns off. You die. Twenty three. That's, that's an, an arm. arm. So energy at negative one. Oh shit. That could be pretty rough. Energy effects are usually pretty brutal. Energy arm. All tests involving that arm suffer a minus 30 penalty for 1d5 rounds, and I believe based on that character, that's your right arm, isn't it? Is it? Based on the. Well, it's. I think it's. Is it? Let me see. It should be. It should say. I think it actually just says right. One says R, one R says rate. L. Yeah. Wait, twenty six. Twenty six. They oh they actually Three. do it weird. They have that's left arm. Okay, okay. so you can still use your sword. Swing your arm. Yeah, hold on. Go ahead, Chris. Uh, just reading this out loud, uh, it says, while frenzy, he is immune to fear, pinning, stunning, uh, and effects of, uh, fatigue. He cannot parry, retreat, or flee. He doesn't say I can't roll agility. agility. Then roll dodge. Yep, roll dodge agility. then. As long as it says you can roll an evasion, do an evasion, then you can roll dodge. Do it. So somehow you basically, out of instinct, get out of the way of this fire. Um, yep. All right. Uh, Newman. Uh, yeah, he just comes charging in, but this time. Yeah, you can technically you can literally do a charge, which will give you plus twenty on your weapon skill, I believe. Beautiful. Let me check that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Plus ten or plus twenty, but you can't you can't uh, evade or anything. Next turn. That's fine. That's okay. Oh my god! Yeah, it would be because he's doing a standard attack plus a charge. So yeah, so that's a whiff anyway. Yeah. Okay, so you swing and she just sees it the last moment and kind of evades Vanso. Roll 1d10 he, for damage. He can also still yeah. attempt the uh, evasion. It doesn't take his evasion away. It doesn't? Okay, that's fine. And what's what's the negative charging then? Uh, there, isn't, there isn't one. They just have to have all the prerequisites to do it. Oh, okay. All right, so only one damage. Uh, that gets soaked by your toughness. So now I roll willpower again? Yep, willpower to... Um, Anymore, so. To to do to do normal, yep. Mm -hmm. At a negative ten. Damn it. Nope. But you're not dead. So. Fight me, Jangus. Fight me. <laughs> Jangus, are you gonna help I'll your burning friend? Kick him in the water. It's nearby. Okay. So go ahead and I'll move up to. Yeah. So you go over and you just. How, how does that look when you kick him over? Uh, this, I, after I blast the beast and see Icazarius clean it up, I see Vansa still on fire, probably squealing and, you know, rightfully so, trying to put himself out. I'm like, oh, shit, and just run over and 
think about shoulder checking him, but then like, okay, this guy's on fire, and then just just give him the big boot a la Shawn Michaels and just kick him <laughs> as hard as I can into the water. Sweet chin music. Yeah, and okay. then just run over there with my t- I have a little like cape on my back and start using that to this one, just to put the fire out on him. Yeah, just the the mud and the muck just kind of come over him and the steam, the smoke just comes off of him. Damn it, Vanzo, stop squirming! All right, Fentral, I'm just gonna roll for its willpower here. I will well, roll for its damage too, I suppose. No. No. Same deal. Akazarius, you're in a frenzy. Uh, or can I reach her from here? You cannot reach her from there. You have to climb up. Well, I still will climb up because I have no other choice. Is that a full turn just to do that? Yep, you're also on fire, so roll damage. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> this has been fucking ridiculous. Okay, you soak that. Upset. You soak that. <laughs> So she's getting like accosted on all sides. So she just hops down here for her um, her half action, um, and uh, she needs uh, she drops. Um, actually, I'll take that back. She drops her hand flamer because it's out of cartridges. Cartridges, and she draws her uh, melee weapon, and she attacks. Uh, Newland. Okay. What's it? Oh, uh, where, 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 where is it? If she dies, we're gonna go after the goddamn control. So she, uh, so you need to parry your dodge. Uh, it'll be parry, and I have two. Yep. So you'll get you'll get a plus ten, a plus yep. ten, plus uh, twenty because he has a sword. Yep, balanced. Okay, so weapon skill plus twenty. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can use the macro for primitive sword if you want. Oh, okay, sure. And just add plus twenty for modifier. Oh baby. Yep. yep. So basically, she swings with this sword, and your swords clash. And now you, you're <clears throat> up. Oh, let's go at it again. Oh my yeah. god. No, they hit. Yeah, plus 10. You hit her. All standard so, attacks are plus 10. So now now you tell me, uh, so you can't roll less than a 3 on damage, right? Okay, so you don't, that doesn't count. So 10, let me see what her thing is, because you didn't roll. She primitive 9, though, so... And yeah. No, he actually doesn't. He has he has primitive nine, oh, but it does right. the um, does the proven three. Now oh. it didn't it didn't count in that case because he didn't roll anything lower than a three. But um, yeah, uh, let's see her roll. Uh, roll for roll one d one hundred. Cipher. Let me. Ha ha ha! Just on the arm. So, um, so you did no penetration on that sword. Is that correct? Yeah, no penetration. No penetration. So she takes three wounds. She's a and bitch. basically, you the the site is new and Newt is completely like like soaked in mud and gunk. He's just standing there, smiling here, with his sword is going like toe to toe with this bitch. Okay. All right, um, Vanso, you are. Thrown, but not on fire any longer. So Vanso was still screaming like, ah! until Jengis like nudges him with his foot or whatever it does it and tells him to shut up. And then he opens his eyes. Oh my dear, that was extremely painful. I fucking hate fire. And he stands up, but I do prefer explosions. Yeah, well. I want to help them wrap her up. I'm going to go grab the girl. We need to get the hell out of here. I think we should just kill her. It would be less of a problem. Man, so I just saved you. Don't make me regret it. I still got three bullets in this gun. (laughs) 
So what are you going to do technically, North? What? Was that a half action or a full action? To stand up? Half. Yeah. Oh, um... Uh... Well, I can't... Can't get to her, so I might as well... Phantom's going to quickly go over and check the beast, see any signs if he's Galen or whatever. Yeah, there's... There's no way to tell in this light and with his face caved in. Uh, okay. I would actually, actually, I'll let you do anything. Um, let's see. Um, because, um, uh, Vanto is familiar with what space marines look like, so. Yeah, sure. But these, these space marines are actually, um, recruited from the populace. Uh, if you look at the storm wardens. Um, so they're not. They haven't, been, they haven't had all those surgeries. Yeah, they're, they're not been, mutated, um, or oh, whatever okay. you would call. Okay. Yeah. So, but I'll let you uh, roll like. Um, mm, uh, inquiry. Um, how about logic? I did drop, but now I'm yeah. back. Uh, so I don't have a logic. So it'll be intelligence minus twenty, right? Yep. mm Hmm. Yeah, no. Yeah, you don't know. Jengus, you're up. Climb if that you... ladder. Save that girl. Okay. So you, you head up there. Um, so um, as you get up there, um, you see her hanging, and then you see uh, inside this hut as well. Uh, you can kind of look in there, and I'm going to send you a, a Discord message. But uh, you're able to cut Pesha down. Sling her over my shoulder and see what this is all about. It's a message here. Maybe Pesha is a space marine. Good. The first ever rat space marine. Fuck me. Nothing but tricks and traps all around here. Fake news, Ted. I'm using the fate and rerolling it. Okay. Fuck. Roll 1d5. Wait, are there traps all over the place or what? Tell you in a minute. Right. Sure. Okay. Sanity or corruption? Uh, that would be sanity. Okay. No biggie. All right. I'd come out with her and just say, "Van, so don't go in there. Trust me." Pesha like looks up and she's like, "We, that's, that's what you come for. That's him." <sighs> Ventral's just gonna scream. I'm not gonna bother with it. Actually, I should roll willpower. I want him to kill you. Um... <laughs> no. All right, Icazarius. Pesha, Pesha. Um. Well, we'll wait until wait wait until next turn because it took you a full turn to get her down and whatnot. Sure. Okay, Icazarius, you're gonna bludgeon this lady. I'm assuming. Oh uh, yeah, I take uh, six damage from fire. Yeah, how much? What's your toughest bonus? Uh, I'm not sure what my bonus is. What's toughness, your tu What's your toughness uh, score? Character. Yeah. The toughness score is. Oh wait, that's wrong character. One second. Uh, it is 32. Alright, so you take three. Alright, go ahead and whack at her here. Whack her off, do it. I get a plus 10. Doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, she's going to, um, try to evade... If she's if she's not um, she doesn't isn't trained in dodge, so she takes a negative twenty, right? 
Is there a, a gang up bonus or no? Uh, yes, so that would be a plus 10 as well, but he already hit, so. Uh, so she dodges aside. He dodges. Uh, and, on by a bearded lady. and she kind of, like, ducks and kind of tries to stab at Icazarius. Alright. She should roll fear because of <laughs> she misses. No one. Because I'm on fire! Oh my god. Yeah, that's a mess. <laughs> We're so good. Vanso. Uh, I'm just gonna go help Jengis, like, like stabilize him while he's going down the ladder with the girl, um, the Kirina girl. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, Pesha, she like, she's like, I'll get it. You don't want to touch it. You don't need to do nothing now. I'll grab it. Stop. And she like, she like, takes her tail and kind of like pushes away from you. And, um, if you really want to stop her from grabbing it, then I'll let you, but she's intent on grabbing it instead. I probably just she's I came here to save her and she looks like for, for for me seeing what that thing is and me being unsettled by it, uh Jangus is gonna try to stop her. He's gonna just kinda grab her by the nape of her neck and says, Look here. Respect your damn elders and grab that. Okay. Grab the thing. Take um one D five corruption. On my way to another mutation, baby. Uh, Fentrol, please pass this. No. It doesn't matter. Chris is still going to go try to beat it to death. Yeah, but he can't attack him, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Okay, Akazarius, go ahead. Plus uh, 22 year roll straight off, and you're aiming too, I'm guessing, so that's plus 30. Another plus 10 for being oh, friendly. There you go. God, that's a good one. Um, so, 15, no pen. Oh, boy. Can she dodge? Uh, what's your, uh, 1D100? Uh, so I'll just, I'll just roll real quick. Uh, so that's, like, the leg. That's a body, body. Uh, so three. Uh, she'll try to dodge again. Um, so... Minus 20. Nah. So that basically puts her negative. Do, 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 do. Negative what? God. Uh, oh, yeah, that's like. Negative what? Damn. Uh, well, I'm just trying to do the math right here. Um, so with a pen. No pen, right? So. Um, negative five impact. Negative five impact will be. I think it's gonna be the same thing I got to the other guy. Let me make sure, though. Yeah, just um, yep. we will just uh, you smash her in the torso. How do you kill her? Uh, he just uh, holds on to his weapon like a baseball bat, and then just winds up really slowly, and then just throws it with his entire motion, distorting her body as he just kind of slams her, throwing her several feet. Okay, so she like launches off the off the pad and crashes to the ground over here by her buddy. Okay, so um, the rest of the tribesmen seem to flee. Um, and Jengus comes out of this little hut um, both with Pesha and it is a bag that thing so no one else would have to see it because I know I didn't want to see it and I wouldn't want anybody else to. But... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But this is what it looks like. Uh, yeah. Mm. So wait, that's that's the face ring. That's what Pesha said. Oh well, you can bring it back to the to the Sakaris Marines and so they can check. 
All right, go ahead and feel free to role play your aftermath here if you can get Chris out of his frenzy. <laughs> uh, uh, Newt would take his uh, uh, the 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 fur that he had borrowed from the uh, goat clan and put on uh, the Kazarius and kind of put the fire out. Okay. Yeah. So you put you put the fire out on the frenzy. No, no, you 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 bust out of it. Okay. And he just kind of shows his appreciation by kind of clapping the uh, feral worlder on the shoulder and nodding. He's like, today was a good day. Many enemies fell. Yes, it was. This clan is no more, and my vengeance is attained. Have you got what you come for? Yeah, I think so. According to what the kid says, anyway. But I'm just carrying a bag. What next for you, brave gentlemen? We will bring back whatever. We need to to prove what happened to Galen, and then we will be back on our ship. And our destination will remain unknown to you, citizen. I don't know about all that. Might as well bring him with us. I don't see that Newt has any reason to stay here. Well, I don't want to be there to receive the consequences of bringing a, no offense, savage onto the ship of a Inquisitor. <laughs> Ike Kazarius just speaks up and he's like, I'll, I'll speak on his behalf. Hell, Van, so we're all savages. You just wear fancy armor when you kill people. <laughs> I am not a sauvage. And don't you dare ever imply that again, Monsieur Jengus. Uh-huh. Not like any savage ever burned down a whole village, did they? Burning down a village of savage does not make me savage. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, buddy. <laughs> that's uh, that's feudal logic. <laughs> just shake my head, throw the bag over my shoulder, got Pesha on the other shoulder, and more or less carry both of them back the whole way. Are you sure you want to bring her back to these people? Because they just really don't give a shit about it. Yeah, no, you don't I'm have not to. going to. I have I have something in mind, but it really depends okay. on. Them. So but we're over. Can... We're over three hours. We can keep going if you would like, or we can um... finish the storyline. Okay, we're almost done here. Might as yeah. Well. Okay. So um, you take the train back, um, and uh, yeah, you, you you are approaching this village. You don't have to go in. You can choose what you want to do. This village gives me the heebie-jeebies. I'd probably, because I think my Pesha's in rough-ass shape, and she's been through a bunch of shit, of course, according to what that fucking dickhead drivesman said that we ganked and mm -hmm. tied up, so... She's unconscious, man. I'd sort of, I'd wake her up if I could. Yeah, she's... Give her some insults. <sighs> yes, Jengus. Are we back? What, what happened? Where's Lapita? She didn't make it. And she frowns. And you guys found an alternate way back, obviously, not going over that bridge. Yeah, that it were just really fast. And the yeah. go pick up the issues were. <laughs> they were still uh, on the water. Oh, good. Yeah. Chilling, taking a bath. Um, Besha, I want to level with you. I don't think your folk care about you too much. Maybe some of them do, but I know your daddy don't. What, what would you want me to do? You got a gift. You can see things other people can't. And, well, I'd vouch for you if you wanted to come with us. I feel that our, I guess, leader would find you a suitable candidate for his little trope of misfits he's putting together. An, an, an acolyte? 
Of course, I would... Yes. I would gladly come with you. Well, take my hand then. We're skipping around this town. Actually, uh, there is something that I want to check. Uh, I remember the voice in the cave spoke of a child. I just want to make sure that it is not some kind of demon or like... Shit, be my guest. You want to go back in there alone. Because Arius, would you join me to check for uh, chaos inside the newborn child? And nods stoically. Let us go then. Yeah. Vanso still does have his critical wounds. Just keep that in mind. Um, what? Vanso what? Uh, you, have, you have your... Whatever your critical wounds were. You yeah, still, yeah, his, his, uh, uh, his left arm. Yeah. Um, stunned for only two turns or something. Yeah, you're stunned, but I I don't know if there was something. Was there a fatigue or something like that? I think. Take a little fatigue. Um, yeah. Anyway, I mean, I don't. I hope you don't get into a fight here. Um, no, so. No, I'm just going to check Yeah, you you head back into the um. Into the no, sure. camp, and you see Udig kind of just standing there, and he's like, "Oh, you back, you fine Galen." We are here for the newborn baby. Newborn baby, no baby's been born. Quoi? The uh, baby of the uh, the mystic woman has yet to be born. Mm-hmm. Can we speak with her for a second, if you would not mind? Mm-hmm. Let me let you go by. Okay. So you climb back up to the um, where Zelen and Minshaka were before, and Zelen's not there, but Minshaka is still playing with her bones. Uh, Madame Minshaka, I'm sorry for intruding, but I have a single, very important question to ask you. I already know what you're going to ask. Then do you know what the answer is? I would like to hear you say it. Well, who fathered that child? Truly. A tribesman. If you want to know the exact truth, a tribesman of the horned goat. I was raped. Who was the, uh, seed bearer exactly? I do not know his name. Some lout with a skull over his head. Fuck. And since you've answered that question, I have one last one. Since you have been uh, impregnated, have you taken upon yourself to do any uh, mystical or magical ritual that affected your own body and mind? Not that I'm aware. Ikazarius, do you have any questions for the madame? He just had and was like, This is one fight I don't think we're gonna win. Wait, no, here's my question. Now, who is in the room with us other than me? No one, no one. Minshaka oh. and you two. Now, how close is the nearest person? You motherfuckers. Uh, you no, didn't. You, really you did not see anyone outside. Udik is. Uh, Udik let let you pass. Um, there are some men outside randomly. I mean. Now, how far? Oh, I don't know. Uh, forty feet. You're inside a room. They're down. I mean, nobody's gonna see what you're doing here unless okay. you're overly loud. How does quick draw? Can I do like a quick draw kind of samurai like sword out in one motion? Cutter, 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 like head off or neck off. Uh, oh. you could try. You can definitely Wait. quick draw. Oh. Have to roll for that? Uh, <laughs> you. Um, I, mean, I would. No risk in it. Uh, I would let you do. I would let her try to um, dodge, basically. Really? Yeah. Uh, shit. I don't know if I should risk it. Yeah. Do what you believe in, man. Just know that I'm leaving if she goes back. I have to. I have to. It's, it's, it's when I can't, I can't go against my favorite nature. Do it. Do it. What bonuses do I get then? Um, you get plus 10. I'd give you plus 20. 
<laughs> With no fate points. <laughs> so you draw your sword and quickly try to cut her, and it cut it cuts like a strand of her hair, and she kind of she doesn't move actually, and she's like foreseen in the bones, and she stands up and her eyes start to basically glow and she's like and here I was about to give myself over to the god emperor as a psyker and join his ships his black ship to Terra such bullshit you know if you had just said so in the beginning I would none of this would have happened this is what you get for doing your stupid bullshit psyker he does and she says I believe you should leave now. Fine. But just know in the future, other people will not look away when you play with their fucking heads. Angry. And she oh, yeah, just... he is angry. He was played the fool. And that's the one thing he hates most. She just looks at him expectantly to depart. Oh. Do not oh, make me call Adig. You would not like that. So I sheed my weapon and I leave. Hopefully, Gazarius doesn't follow my example. I'm trying to kill her. Yeah, what does Gazarius do? <sighs> wait, 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 her eyes shone? Because that's not a normal psycho thing. Well, I'm not. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to display anything demonic. Um, oh, okay. Because that, that's like yeah, not normal psycho. Thing. Yeah, I mean, she she's she was just drawing power, right, to defend herself if needed. Because they're still trying to kill her. That'd be funny. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> I think he's more surprised at first at, at uh, Vansa for trying to kill her. He he thought this was just a questioning kind of thing. And when he sees her eyes start to glow, you know, he tightens his grip on the shock maul. And as he, you know, he grabs Vanso and just heads him stort towards the, the door. But um, as he's getting ready to walk out, he just looks over his shoulder slightly and says, Sifr no o witch to live before he walks out. She just sits back down. And you, you, you walk and Adig looks at you, ask questions. We have found what we are looking for. Thank you for letting us tell you, Udig. Hmm. You do well by tribe. Me join you if you wish. Inquisition. Uh. uh wow, if this was Jangus, maybe. But this is Vanso and Ikazarius, so. I am sorry, but the Inquisition must remain pure and stable. Your kind would muddy the water, so to speak. And Vanso just walks off without a second thought. Really? Mm. You motherfucker. And, and as he walks off, uh, because Eris has kind of had an enlightening kind of uh, trip out of this, and he just kind of looks at Adig, and he asks Adig very simply, Will you kill our enemies? Your enemy, my enemy, me kill. What a good killer. And then he holds out his arm. Welcome to the Inquisition. He, he grabs your arm and almost shakes it off, basically. He's so strong. I come, I kill. I meet you at Space Marine Place. Very well. Oh, baby. That's going to be so pissed off. Good. Just so you well, know, I was thinking about shooting Tesha in the head when I saw her hanging up there. <laughs> I, I, I was seriously debating oh, pretty happy if, on, on I if I was going to shoot and shock her or not, but I decided, you know... I would have probably let you do it because I don't want another combat. Now that I'm thinking about it, how could we know that she was a registered psyker when this is like the fucking boonies? No, she did. She did not say she's a registered psyker. She she said that she was going to get on the black ships and go back. 
Oh fuck. You assumed. <laughs> I, I mean, a psychers, if they don't go, I think there's some kind of like process or surgery shit they do. Um, unlicensed psychers are much more uh, friend to chaos. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, she's. I mean, she she basically told you that she was going to do that, right? Yeah, but she said that more means nothing. This is the Inquisition, man. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I mean, you can you can go and report. You can go and report this if you want. I'm going to report it, obviously. Yeah. But I'm not going to go back and try to kill her. <laughs> Set the whole place on fire. Well, that's what. Uh, that was what I was getting at with like Azarius is, is he's going to be like, hey, there's an unregistered psyker out here who's probably got a chaos spawn in her belly right now. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Outrageous. All right, so um, you with Uddig and Pesha, uh, well, Uddig falls behind you, but um, Kenwith is there, and he leads you back towards uh, the Space Marines, and this will be um, our last scene. Um, so um, the um, chapter surfs uh, alert the uh, veteran sergeant of your arrival, and um, he comes out to greet you. He's like, he looks very dour, and he says, I do not see Galen with you. That is troublesome. What happened? Well, I got some bad news. I know you're a hard man, so I know you'll be able to understand this when I show it to you. I get the bag out, hand it to him. He it takes it. Me to see it. Just warning you. He takes a deep breath and he looks at it. And his teeth like gnash and he closes the bag back up and he's like, Who did this? The Horned Goat Tribe. We killed them all pretty much to a man. Only a few escaped the fires. I will seek out I any alive. Kind of... Good. I can. Just... Sorry, uh, Icazarius kind of pipes up and he's like, the leader of their tribe raped one of the the tribe's women who was the seer of that village. She's carrying his seed. And she is an unregistered psyker. I fear for the effects the work will have on her mind. Mm. I'll see to it. I'll talk to Zelen. And he looks you over and Pesha with you, and he's like, What of the Ratling? And Uddig kind of like clumbers up, and he's like, And the Ogren, what are they doing here? Coming with us. Hmm. Very well. By right of conscription. Of course. Did you see anyone that proved themselves valorous? I am looking for a replacement, obviously, for Galen. Oh, I can think of a couple. Of course, you're surf, but this fella here, and I'd put my hand on Newt's shoulder. Without him, I don't think we would have gotten through that village, found that skull. And he looks at Newland and says, I do not know you. I am Kaelin McAnter. Uh, the name is... Newland McAllister, my tribe fought the horn goat to the very last man, and I am the last man. My vengeance on the tribe of the horn goat has been achieved. Well, Newland left scars for myself now. I would offer you this then. You could be my disciple, my neophyte. If you so wish it, and become a storm warden if you prove yourself worthy. I know not what these words mean, but I am an honorable man, and I will fight for my brothers. If you be my new brother, I fight for this is up to you. Are you will you join these folk or me? The Inquisition is a hard life. A space marine is a hard life. 
you will see much terror with both, and both are valid paths to a man. It is up to you to decide. So basically, Zypher, if you choose um, to stay with Space Marines, Newland would be out of the game. It's oh, a huge no. honor. It's a huge honor, though, for your people. Oh, I mean, you could make another acolyte. Mm -hmm. Oh, you definitely make another acolyte. But I mean, if Newland chooses to go with the Inquisition, that's really saying something. Oh, it's up well, to you. That's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're more likely to get into the Inquisition than you are to get into the Adeptus Astartes, any of them. That's probably true. Oh, uh, you'll see. Uh, well, he is getting recruited directly. Yeah, he would. He yeah. he would say if you're fa like he said, if you're found worthy, then you can join. But he would take him in and train him. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, you do me well with this honor. But I feel I could do some good with these men. They have fought bravely on the battlefield and their cause is just. I shall join them. Oh great, now we have another savage. Ike Azarius just looks at him dumbfounded like any human who's ever that he's ever known has always wanted to be a space marine. And he just kind of stares at him and is like are you serious? I would give anything to be an Adeptus Astartes. They are legends. They are gods among men. <laughs> I put my hand on Newland's shoulder and just, well, buddy, you passed up a pretty rare opportunity, and I hope we can make it worth it for you. So Kellen, um, like, stalks forward hearing Vanso, and he, like, looks down, he's like, do you realize I am from Sacris? I think you need to leave, little man. A birthplace does not equal savage. It is your education. As a space marine, you have been educated in the ways of mannerism. He he hauls off and smashes you in the face, and your helmet like goes cockeyed, and he's like, Do not tell me what I am. And he, like, in all his power armor, is just like looking down at you, and your head's ringing. And he's like, leave my world. Jengus is going to try to sort of get between them to it. Hold on now, Sergeant. I don't presume to tell you what to do, but despite this man's tone, he has been useful. I would hate to see him killed. I am not going to kill him if he leaves. Your shuttle is over there. Weird. I will, I'll get him out of here, Sergeant. I got my word. Come on now, Vance, before you step on any more toes. Um, before they leave, uh, Mike Kazarius is going to approach... Uh... Sorry, one second. Uh, he's going to approach uh, uh, Kalen and be like... It was truly an honor to meet you and your chapter. Should I survive these coming days, know that you'll have a friend in the Inquisition. He nods to you and he says, The Storm Wardens, we are doing many things in the Coronas Expanse. Yes, your Inquisitor has filled me in on some things. And he's like, Kenwith, what you had brought me. And he nods and he says, This blade was found. Yes? And he like passes it over. He's like, I have scouts that were watching. They did not see everything, but they scoured the battlefield after you left. And, um,. Jengus realizes that uh, this is the sword that um, the beast had. The beast sword? Yeah, he's like, this was Galen's blade. I bequeath it to the Inquisition. And he hands it over to Icazarius. I think he's the only one who'd really go well. Icazarius just takes it and 
and kind of takes in the uh, in total respect to him and is just like you will honor us very well veteran sergeant we will leave your planet at once and again should you ever need only call and he nods and waves the surf back to him and they uh, head back inside leaving you to your shuttle and you're feel free to role play as much as you want um, so we're in the shuttle uh you're next to the shuttle you're not in the shuttle you can Is get in the shuttle veteran sergeant nearby? no he left he, he walked <laughs> off if i ever see that man again i swear he will regret the day he ever cast vanso quintilian <laughs> i'm sure he will buddy he seems real scared of you. If I still cheated with the sucker punch, if it was a fair fight, I would have lopped off his head. Yeah, imagine if and... it would have set you on fire. <laughs> I guess Arius just kind of reverently holds the blade um, and doesn't let anybody get too close to it. And Uddig says, We go now. And Pesh is like sitting on his shoulder. We sure do. I suggest, I suggest that since you have decided to bring upon these two recruits, you better think of an explanation to the Inquisitor. He will not be as lax as you are. <laughs> I think he'll be very happy that we brought them on board. You're welcome to make a bet with me if you'd like. Sure. Fine. We'll make a bet. Wager you a pack of low sticks. It is agreed upon. Shake on it, boy, and spit in my hand and hold it out. And, uh, Vanso looks at it, and surprisingly, he spits it in his hand and shakes it. Because you gotta remember, he used to be a dirty ass peasant. Good. A deal is, bond, is, it, a, deal is a bond, and a bond is to make be broken. Yeah, I won't break my bond about getting you a pack of, cig a pack of low sticks, buddy. Make room for the Ogren. I don't know if they like closed spaces. Uh. What what's going on with the uh, the pilot? Is he okay with all this? Yeah, he's just looking. I mean, he doesn't have an opinion. He just that dude smoked mouth. the fuck out. He probably brought some obscura down to the. Yeah, he. I mean, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't have an opinion. He's like <laughs> lower than low. You know, he's just a. Oh, uh, he looks at like very. Looks at the ogre and he's like, uh, you might have to move a seat. Like, but you, you guys, uh, cram on the shuttle and get underway and head back up to the, uh, Reliant. And, uh, what the fallout from this, uh, will be in another session. So that's it. Outstanding. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Sweet.